Welcome to the Black Phillips Show with Patrice O'Neill. Women's power is in your fear of whatever they're going to do. Black Phillips. Fat-tongued mongoloid. Love, doctor. I told my girl she's the fourth most important thing in my life. So sensitive. It was me, my career, my Family. mother, and then her. Ooh, that silk. She only thinks she knows shit because I tell her oh, shit. Wow. Keeping your pen pad strong. I think my girl in my life is worth five bitches now. Saw that over. It's fat pussy. I'm not no gonna way. It's black. It's black. It's black pussy. It's black. Dante. I introduced this song money. to all you motherfuckers. <laughs> not to me. <laughs> to you two. Not to me. I knew this song before. <laughs> when you were a little boy, I was playing this song. <laughs> fat pussy, nigga. That's fat black. pussy. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Don't turn that me. shit up, man. Because I'm upset. Don't call me nigga. You gotta see no hope. You can take the test and bring big fat titties off the back. Wake up, nigga. Wake up. Everybody wake the fuck up, man. Because this is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is... We haven't been on the radio for fucking two months. Three months, some shit. What's the last time we was there? Because you niggas got a, a show every... Every gumdrop nigga in the world got a show on XM on Saturday. Today is the best bubblegum flavor show, you fucking <laughs> cocksuckers. We're trying to save the world. And here are these motherfuckers. Every five seconds I turn on a fucking show. It's just a nigga talking about beans. <laughs> beans. It's the beans show, dude. <laughs> We got a purpose on this fucking show, a theme and a purpose to save niggas. Because niggas need saving. And I don't mean black people. I mean everybody. Men. Men. They need saving, man. Turn this shit off, Danny. Please. Because this is disgusting. I see Danny's attitude is shitty. Shitty. Sad. Sad sack motherfucker. Nah, this I'm is what fine. happens when Black Phillip is gone for two months. Everybody goes back into sad sack mode. Goofy shit. You too, nigga. I'm good. You too. <laughs> we talked about you being in love with some fucking third world broad. Wow, Dante. I love everybody. And man, this is what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> this morning I get up at 12 o'clock to go down to Jeffrey's fucking a love fest with his bunch of people in there looking for <laughs> guidance and hope. I don't got no hope for motherfucker. I got real shit <laughs> to try to get you through life like I'm getting through. I'm a miserable motherfucker, man. If I was a white guy, I'd have killed myself already. <laughs> I'd have fucking hung myself because I'm depressed and I'm miserable and I'm trying to keep motherfuckers from killing themselves, killing their girl, killing their family. Wife. Wife. Trying to keep motherfuckers happy. Pimp season is open. <laughs> it is. Man, what is it? May what? May, May 16th. 16th. May, it's May. pimp season, motherfucker. 17. I see Bookster. Bookster's already in his in his full he pimp garb. His, yeah. Got his jacket on, his blazer. And then, and then here's the sad thing, Danny. Here's the fucked up thing about the show right now. Somebody might be just listening to this for the first time. Really, we've only had a week and two days worth of shows. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We've been on the air ten years, but we've only had <laughs> nine shows, maybe even eight. Y'all tell me. I don't even know how many fucking no, shows. I push. I push and push. Um, here's, a, here's the disappointment shit. People don't even know. Like, Jeffrey Gurian, he came last show. Now, if you're new, because you got to be new, because it's two months ago. I'm, it doesn't <laughs> feel new. But people are going to be like, who the fuck is this guy? We well, established him two months ago. But we can't really get a groove on helping motherfuckers. I'm going to tell you why I'm so mad, because I've been traveling. 
I haven't been on TV, so I had to go out there and awesome. do these shitty clubs that I don't do, that I don't really like doing. I don't like to go to these places because I know they would be as disappointing as I knew they were. Seattle, pussy whip city, bunch of motherfuckers who let their women run their whole life. Pussy whipped town. Motherfuckers sitting around with that look of, this was inappropriate. Guys who take their women's f emotions for them. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to open a bitch's pickle jar. Or or <laughs> maybe, if you're in a good mood, if it's raining, you give her one of your coats. <laughs> not the coat you got on, because then you get rain on you. <laughs> you don't throw your coat over a puddle, right? No. Fuck no. Where, where Why would I do that, that shit? You know what I do? You know what I do? Walk around that the puddle. Motherfuckers that used to live with the bubonic plague. <laughs> yeah. So they said, fuck it. This coat got plague on it anyway. Let me put it in a puddle. <laughs> And wash it, and then at the same time, make pretend like I'm doing something for this bitch. No, but can you imagine if people actually did that shit? Yeah. You throw your coat down in the mud so a woman could step on your coat? You would do it, Jeffrey. How stop many coats? Bullshitting. How are you going to go through that many coats? <laughs> First, First of all, all stop, you, stop, <laughs> stop working out a bit, you motherfucker, because you would no, put your coat down. No, I would never throw down. down my coat. No this way. This is something. We got to establish who everybody is. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. I'm so mad. I'm driving here listening to fucking Kevin and his show. I'm not saying it's a bad show. Whatever. I am. But I'm riding. <laughs> and I'm riding. And it's just, I don't even know who's in the room. But I got to hear an hour before I come on to try to save men from injustice and persecution. That's your big lead in. Superman. As, Superman. As, exactly. <laughs> did, did you hear? <laughs> Wonder Woman's going to have her golden, her golden panties in the movie. What? Mm. Shut the fuck up. Shut up! I, so let uh, me get back to Seattle. Uh, pussy whipped bunch of motherfuckers in Seattle. If you're listening to Seattle, pussy whipped shithole motherfuckers. I'm going to go back because you need me to go back. I didn't want to know that the world was this. First of all, what we're doing is so advanced in terms of madness, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize how fucking far down guys are. Yeah. When they make those looks like, this is, I don't get it, this is terrible, this is sad, this is, oh my god, dude, you're not happy. <laughs> you don't love women. You're not a lover of women. Is this your friend right here, Jeff? Pamela. This beautiful thing here? Yeah. Lord have is. mercy. She's gorgeous. Pam. Well, of course she's gorgeous. She's a beautiful person. How are you? My dog on my no one gives a oh. shit already. Here we go. <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh, oh, God. 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 <laughs> sit, her, sit her down. Here we go. Jesus Christ. This is what I'm saying. If she was in Seattle, though, it would be. Uh, here's side kisses. Sweetie. There you go. That's you there. You don't have to do the whole phony mwah. mwah. She just did mwah. the mwah, mwah to everything. I didn't give him the kiss. <sighs> I like her already. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the show, she'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the show, sweet. I didn't even introduce everybody else, by the way. Oh no, slide her over. Over here next. You, you, you know what? Us? Give slide that mic this way, and then slide that mic we'll towards. Do that. All right, we'll do that. Do the same thing with the headphones. And then, okay. yeah, there you go. Oh, and cool. Okay. Yes, I've there you go. Once or twice. Uh, there you go. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. What do you think? She's <laughs> hot, but it's it's a lot of confidence. A lot of too much confidence and too comfortable. But what don't we like women with confidence? No. <laughs> don't we? Don't we like a woman to be self sufficient? Self sufficient? Self sufficient? <laughs> self. <laughs> Why are we whispering? She knows, are we on the radio? <laughs> yeah, she knows. Are. She the knows fuck is that. Now I'm just trying to say. Is this we, a whispering? We're show? talking to. Mm -hmm. She even knows what buttons. Push, um, I think there's a little <laughs> feedback on A. If you slide up, um, the lever, uh, uh, uh. Perfect. Thank you, Jeffrey. Perfect woman to have. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. We'll find out her fucking low self-esteem issue by the end of the show. <laughs> I don't we'll think find this mic is on. Why we'll find out. It's on. I can hear you. Right, cool. We'll find out why she cries at night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. What's your name again, beautiful? Pamela Page. Hi, darling. Sweetheart. She I'm has from no Texas. clue. I'm from Texas. No so ugly bitch sweet. would no ugly bitch would act like her. 
<laughs> Absolutely not. That's but not I would true, know man. an there's ugly a, bitch. So. <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey. I you had, know an ugly before bitch. Before you can master beautiful women, you had to get some work, ugly fucking never, bitches first. Never. I swear to God. Beer never. Beer goggles one night. I will show never you happened. pictures back from the 70s. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Jeffrey, Absolutely stop. not. I couldn't do it. it was, it's not in me to do it. Jeff. Wow. There was a time. It was never. Let a me time. tell you something, Jeff. If I it bet, makes you feel better, no, no, I'll say that. No, it doesn't make me feel better. Fuck that. Let me tell you something. I would Don't rather let me be forget alone. These pussy with towns. Man. I would rather be yeah. alone. First of all, we're not talking about the the the, the wonderful, all powerful Jeff now. Okay. High we school. We're talking about growing up, Jeff. Mm hmm Okay. There was a time where you had to date some ugly bitches. There's just don't lie to me. No, there was a time when I didn't date at all, probably. But when I Which did, it's even worse, nigga. So don't were, even try to play but, me but like you've been Hugh Hefner's son <laughs> no. your whole life, nigga. <laughs> hey, I wore a fucking ascot to high school. Who did that? Of course, that's why was, you didn't I get was, no pussy. Don't act like was, you didn't want pussy. You didn't get it. He was and ahead, then he was ahead at of some his time. point, that's you be exactly you be you grew into a vision you know that how to I respect it. with all all due respect. But don't act like you was getting pussy your whole life. I didn't say that, but I said when I did get it, they were good. I never well, did. I never did ugly well, pictures. I wish I could say that. <laughs> I didn't really. I would know, rather I wait. Either. Really? Yeah. As there was a time you did. Nah, I was. I was cute. <laughs> My high school girlfriend was prettiest girl in the school, but it, you know that well, was it. If both of you motherfuckers. Don't you know why? Because I, 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 I knew from I, early I would on. Say Listen, I got dogged. I pretty got girls dogged have to, by pretty girls. Pretty girls have to be with guys too, right? They got to be with somebody. We you can't discriminate. We're talking now. No, I, I'm talking then. You didn't have that then. You wasn't. I you did. wasn't seasoned enough to have that then. I did, but I, but I didn't get it as often. But you wanted it more. But than I you had got a it. discriminating eye. Did you want it more than you Absolutely. got it? Absolutely. Well, then shut Absolutely. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Stop trying to play me, Jeff. No, I'm telling you the truth. You didn't but he said get he never much. got no ugly chicks though. He's just That's saying. What I'm so, saying. So you waited for pussy. I waited. You waited for, I fucking waited. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, and if I, I had to wait for years, I waited until it was worth So you waited until it was a pretty bitch. Yeah. yeah. And did what up until you fucked him? Jerk off. And, di and did what? You Masturbate. jerked off who up knows? until? Maybe. Who knows? Jeff, we're on the radio. Jeff, no. Stop trying to be mysterious. Jerk off. Yeah. You beat your I dick. Whatever I had to do. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What I hate is the wait. I hate talking about that shit. Wait a minute. Whatever you had to do. It, you jerked off and then what? what well, was there's the other no other alternatives. I didn't internalize it. I would have busted by then. Maybe that's why I got a bad back. Who knows? You huh? know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you you gotta. You know what you're not. You're not establishing Jeffrey. You got. You have to. Really I know. I hate the fact. The that's what I hate about the, about the situation we're in right now. Jeffrey. Because you would right know now, where Jeffrey this, this should be a from. part of the show. Yeah. Last time we was here, in case you didn't hear the show, Jeffrey is a good friend of all of ours, actually. Well, yeah. he's he's more of a friend of mine, but he knows Dante. He knows. No, we Je tight. We Jeffrey tight. is a. We tight, definitely. Think of. Um. Wait a minute. Don Juan. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don Juan. The I mobile. wouldn't. I, no, don't put Don Juan in my head. Don Juan uh, is not the name. He's Hugh Hefner. In in his attitude, meets Phil Spector <laughs> in his look, meets meets Don Juan. I guess, I guess Don Juan meets Hugh Hefner meets Phil Spector in terms of if I if I had to like bottle him up or whatever and, and encapsulate him in something. The guy is the reason why he's a part of the show now is because he I'm a little harsh. He, a little <laughs> <laughs> like gravel bitches make me physically ill I, I just I, I hate women but I hate them because I really want to love them I really want to go mm -hmm. coochie coo I really want to let loose and go of course dear of course pudding pop <laughs> and, and Jeffrey does they're that. abusive pieces of shit <laughs> they sicken me with their attitudes so I'm really harsh because not like everybody else in this room who <laughs> at, at fetus got pussy and never <laughs> struggled ever. <laughs> if they wasn't going to get the most beautiful girl in the room, they jerk off until she came around. Of course, I'm the only fat fucker who ever struggled <laughs> and had to to had to actually gain some resentment. 
I don't know, but I think Boogie has a little resentment towards women. Oh, I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, I, I struggle. Boogie has resentment also towards no, women. No, but we all have resentment, but it's it's a different what? thing. Resentment is not only common to you. Pe- what, what I didn't you resent, say it was common to me. What, I said it was common to me in this room. What every, you resent, no, we, what I, you resent is the power. We struggle differently. It's the power that you resent. Men don't have that power. It's just straight but up. But that's why Men I resent. Men do not have that power. We do. That's why I'm fucking angry. Because it took me till I don't even feel like fucking no more. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me. I don't feel like it. I really don't. It's too messy it's anyway. Just, it's just <laughs> too yeah. much. <laughs> See, look, I got a, a pain in my sciatica. Yeah, yeah it's too much. It's a lot of trouble. It's like when I was younger and wanted work. to fuck, it, I didn't have the ability. Now, pussy is just... <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Could be gay. And uh, you can even say that there was years there was be something that would have would bother me. You know, you're like whatever. Bitch. But that's the pages women are on. They stay on page one because they never need they don't to need go to, to any right. other page. They only need to go. Well, she's Pamela Page. So. Well, she she goes to you're page. You're reading the wrong book. Hmm. You're reading the wrong book. Really? Yeah. <laughs> One hundred percent. She's so gorgeous. Don't you wish people on the radio gorgeous. could see? Maybe if you stay real close to the mic, they could see you. My mouth she, is basically on top of the mic. I'm giving it head right now. <laughs> can I say that on the radio? Sure, you can say anything you want. Oh well, fuck yeah, man! I'm having some fun, right? <laughs> Put your shirt back on. Uh. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I it's love like you're her. constipated over there. I'm I just like, trying to figure out what you're doing. Why are you trying to figure that out? You look constipated. That's a why. Why are you trying? You're the one making this. I actually enjoy her because she lays it out. She is right. What, right. What you're doing right now is called. It's called pushing. <laughs> I mean pushing. No, no, no. Pushing, meaning you're trying too hard, oh. and at the same time. You don't need to. Like, you don't need to have as much personality as you think you need to. Even your personality is arrogant. Meaning, you, you're going to make me like you on your terms. You're going to force me to like you or get along with you the way you like it. Because but, I'm but a woman what and that's what I need to get is get exactly what I want because I am a woman. You're out of your fucking mind. Estrogen power, Are you baby. out of your... There's no estrogen <laughs> power. Let me you want to be here without your mama now. What are you talking about? You want to be you're here talking about, your you're talking about life? You're talking about science? Yes. It's, it's only, let me tell you something. The fact that you can have kids is you're only a victim of circumstance. It's really not that special. You either was going to be a boy or you was going to be a girl. Girls have babies. Boys don't. So the fact that I don't have babies make me as special as the fact that you have babies. Because this has nothing to do with you. You're okay. just you're just you popped on the earth with the ability to have children. And then it takes two to tango, right? Your sperm. It, it really egg. so what though? Yeah, but we're on the same level. We're not on the same level because you're saying you we're not. You've been reading the Bible too many times. Absolutely you not. You should read more of Jeff Groom's books over here. No. <laughs> he's, not a, he's not a fan. Filthy. Why don't no. we always have you on? Filthy, dirty. No. See, no, this because is what you I'm talk saying. about power a lot. She, we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, she, the power she has, Jeff. And again, I don't want her to get upset at anything because I like, I really no, do cool. like her. No, she's She won't be upset, but she is exactly why men hate women nobody she's she's no, it's not why men are jealous of women it's not that they not hate them fucking jealous of women <laughs> Jeff. we're Stop jealous that of fucking shit why are we jealous of women because <clears throat> of the power they have it's not fair they have a power that we can't say compete what the po- with say, it doesn't say, matter no, how Jeff, handsome Jeff, a guy yeah, is this go. power Jeff, doesn't compete say what the power is power of the power pussy. of beauty she said it the, Jeff, it's the say power, what the power is. Yeah, it's the power whipped. of beauty. Say what, say what, I'm saying there. it. The power of beauty is so powerful. Mm. It's always been that way throughout history. Men have made fools of themselves because of their power. Men have lost what, fucking what, kingdoms. What's They've the, lost what's the power, whatever you Jeff, can lose. Say what the power is. You want me to say the power of pussy? Yeah. It's That's the power fine. of pussy. Okay. It's but it's more than that. It's more than that. The essence of a woman. It's the power of beauty based on... And relative to what, Jeff? Attraction. The idea, yeah. the vague idea that you may fuck them. 
Yeah, but that's the that's the end. Do you enjoy beauty that you're not even thinking about fucking? Do yeah. you just enjoy that? Yeah. Why don't you just watch? You know what? There's, ice cream sundays are beautiful sometimes. No, but to be to be in the presence of beauty. See, to me, okay. beauty is like a work of art. It's like going to a fucking museum, man. And you see, ladies beauty, and gentlemen, this is Jeff, this is Jeff Gurian, by the way. Uh, this is why he's here because <laughs> Jeff has a line of horse shit that is so righteous and so wonderful, and he believes it. I think I it's, believe it to the I core of my it being. To be, go fuck yourself. But we're at the same idea except for different language. Jeff, you, here's the thing that I believe about you. You have, you have at least took that concept, and you have. I have lost the concept of patience. Jeff, you took the concept of patience along with the concept of having a wonderful vocabulary and turned that into what I believe in. We believe in the same thing. Absolutely. But I believe in it with less. I believe in it with a little less patience because I've been dealing with it that way my whole life. But I said, what the fuck? Because I just believe men to be better. You know what I mean? I just think that women don't have any concept about why men are better and they just live that life because like like pamela here it you could just you could just see she's a lot of a lot of nothing for no reason like there's a lot of shit that she doesn't have to be but she is that and she's confused thinking that it's because she's magnanimous but she's really just a pretty bitch father time but, will know, stop that yeah, see, yeah but what i'm talking about it's the reason why beautiful women like to go to strip clubs, because people like beauty. People are drawn to beauty. Mm -hmm. Women, even if they're not gay, they like to look at other yes, beautiful women. Absolutely. And I don't care how handsome a guy is or how ripped he is or what his abs look like. It's not the same thing. Why is it? People don't like looking at men. Why? I don't know. Cause so you're women saying have this, women's beauty is different. It is different. Very different. And women have this innate power that they've used... Since the beginning of time, fucking Eve probably Absolutely. did it to Adam. It's called you know? it's called the it's called uh, the power of seduction. Power of seduction. And there's also, but they don't even that, have to try; they just have of, to show up. In that power of seduction, there's also what you have to be a seductress. Not every woman should be the same kind of sedu seductress. You understand what I'm saying? They're not. Meaning they don't have the same power, which is another frustrating part for me. Is like I seen a couple of ugly bitches in the street today. And I and I I didn't talk to him, but I'm looking at him going, how come more ugly bitches aren't horny? Because like, they can't get laid. Meaning, how come more ugly bitches aren't like, give me any dick? <laughs> they have the same attitude as a beautiful bitch. Right. The they same get laid. dismissive attitude in terms of rejection. Where mm -hmm. you go, listen, if I'm Brad Pitt, okay, I would take Brad Pitt's, or no, let me change that. I would take Brad Pitt's, like if a bitch couldn't fuck Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. if Brad Pitt goes, nah, come on, that's what, <laughs> you know. I'm wise enough to go, I'll take Brad Pitt's throwaways. Bitches that Brad right. Pitt ain't fucking, I'll fuck. Right. There should be some bitches that go, alright, if LL ain't fucking me, I'm a fuck Patrice. this next thing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Well, it, I'm gonna fuck this guy, but it's 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 because she doesn't really have to make that decision because it's it's our fault again. It goes back to our fault because so often, just because this guy rejects him, how many guys are really gonna? Re a woman can always give away some pussy. See, that's she why I get frustrated with you, Jeff. Tell me why. Because you're not helping. Your, I believe. <laughs> Jeff is selfish. I, thank you. I believe your style is. It's it's selfish. It's, it's good for you. It's good for you, and you're not fucking helping with that beauty. It's like <laughs> no, because it's not, based in you truth. You have an intrinsic. Yeah, we most know, people we can't do that, what you do. You we have an intrinsic anger. Huh? We know yes. that it's based in truth. It's, the point is that you're not. You're nobody can pull that off but you. That's and not true. There's the, other guys who probably very few, and the guys who See, try to the guys who try to pull it off like you. In order to pull it off like you, you have to understand the the basic fundamental when you boil it down to a rule, yes. to the rule of it, and and on you have to start that and oh, then hold build. On a second, this is something that you did that guys don't do, Jeff. When I asked you, listen, did you jerk off? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
when you was. Here's what I want from you. Yeah, I don't have to get it, but I want it. Yeah. I'm gonna push you to like it. I'll or give not. you whatever you want. I no, have I don't no problem want. Saying I don't it. want whatever. You, I don't want whatever I want. I just want to try to get whatever I want. You do you, because that's why I love you. Because you do you. But I'm saying. Uh, 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 visceral, why it bugs me when you go, oh, the beauty and the boo. It, it's the same horse shit that these fucking guys can't do. It's, it's like, it's, like you said, it's <clears> the <throat> selfish thing. It's for you, but man shit, it's based on anger of a certain degree. No, I get what you're saying. You but understand. Jerking off is very low level sexuality, and I have worked. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the lowest. It's the lowest level of sexuality to please yourself. Yeah, but it sounds the, fucked up. Yeah, it doesn't sound. There's yeah, nothing hot about the, that. That's the point. That's the point. This is why the I point is in love. This there's nothing hot about that. When you, if, if how you're, does anybody if you're, explain jerking off like this? If you're into tantra, <laughs> God love you, nigga. Yeah, because if you're into tantra, if you're using your sexuality to expand your consciousness, right? Which is what I want to do. I want to take sexuality to the highest levels. Uh, right? let, me, can I, let me interrupt. Okay. Oh, no. We're talking. We were talking about the time before before you knew tantric sex before that we talking about in the very beginning maybe it was high school i don't know was it high school i always had a feeling for that yes but i you didn't, didn't even know not, what it was but, but we didn't under you didn't so understand did, so you that you thought so jerking off was a low you would have called and when you were 16 jerking off a low level sexual experience no i wouldn't then. have known what the fuck that was that's no. what we're saying that's what i've come to it's like stepping back yeah. it's like it's like when you when you move to the city from the country you can't go back to the country right, anymore right right but you, once but, you, once but, you but we're talking about fundamentally what it what did you do when you couldn't get pretty women jerk off is jerk the off answer. like everybody right, right. but jeffrey. that's not what you said jeffrey it was it well because it's an ugly thing it doesn't feel oh like, jeffrey this is what you well. this is your new nickname for me wow. you are <laughs> the you are the passive misogynist passive misogynist <laughs> yes, that's a good no one. not yes. at all no you that, are that horseshit <laughs> i'm a gregarious isolator you, but i'm not a passive <laughs> <laughs> this is why this is why I admit, and this I is why I admire your shit. I just challenge it. Is that how you can mm. have Pamela in your life as a, per, have a as a as a person of access. She's gorgeous, but I know as a person of access for me, it would either be we would fuck soon or we would never talk again because I would immediately challenge her, what I seem to think to be is horseshit. You See, don't, and it's 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 beautiful. You know why? Because if I'm with if I'm with a woman like her, I want her to come when she's with me. And if she doesn't know me well enough to trust me, she's not going to come. Exactly. Fair enough. Whatever okay. the fuck that means. Let's not get it well. Yeah. Well, she's going to trust me, then I'll tell her to shut the but fuck up if she talks too much. <laughs> I wanna... And there's another thing too. I'll give you an example. <laughs> it happened today. There was going to be a third girl here tonight. Yeah. I I got into my elevator today, and there was this girl. I I. She was, I was getting out and she was getting in, right? And I, f I realized I forgot something and I jumped back into the elevator and this girl was really, really beautiful. She was, happened to be from Jamaica. Mm. And we're riding up and I realized that nothing happens by accident. And I start, I have from the ground floor to the 16th floor to talk, right? Mm. You gotta talk really quick. Maybe the 10th floor. Anyway, I had her within those few minutes to come on the radio with us tonight. She came to my apartment. This is a girl that I just met a few minutes ago. And while we were talking, I was telling her about the show. I wanted to prepare her that we're going to talk about sexuality and the difference between men and women and the power. I showed her Patrice. I told her about Dante. I told her the whole thing. And she said to me, you know why I came to your apartment? Because you have that kind of energy that I could trust. Because how does a girl that you just meet come to your house? And she said, she's because, a stinking ass bitch. She said, she said, and you know what she said? Because she's you, a funky hoe, Jeff. She and said, I'm not gonna let her live her life with me letting her get off with being a funky hoe. Your style gives women like plausible deniability. <laughs> Beautiful, which is like, oh my god, I don't know what this I, is. It's, just, I it's feel magic. Aura. Why yeah, is my yeah. pussy wet? <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, you funky bitch. Be a funky bitch. Yeah, and, but and he, I like you. I'm see, I'm doing a better justice for them well, because <laughs> because I'm not making them think that they're lesser or better because of their pussy. I'm mm -hmm. like, look, you a funky hoe. And, and that's then, okay. Let's hang out, bitch. And that's okay. I'm not. Don't make me fucking go like 
fucking hoes. Come down <laughs> to your world of having to. I don't know what overcame. But you they have can a only, beautiful they, way of making hoes. No but offense. Yes, I. I, I <laughs> look at her open her fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I almost apologize right away. And to you, I don't know you. I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm not calling you a hoe. There's every but other I'm bitch saying, out there, right? Say that again. There's every other bitch out there. What are you talking about? You're not calling either one of us a hoe. Just every other bitch out there. No, no, like, not talking about a general in general, sense, in a like general, a general sense, sense of what, but what it not is. saying to any chick that she's a hoe. I'm saying under those circumstances, if a chick comes to my house that I just met and she starts saying to me, I'd rather not get pussy if she starts saying to me, "There's something about you. <laughs> there's, a, there's a magical thing that's happening and it's twirling around and I see." Yeah, bitch, you a hoe. I met you in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You have to make her. Okay. Someone. Let's say she is a freak. You yes. gotta, you gotta give her. You have to make her comfortable enough to Why? be able to cop to that. Nigga, she's not gonna I do. just walk into your house She'll and tell never, you she's a freak. I do. I make them, you know why? But nobody can do I'm that but you. I'm a piece of shit. No, well, look so at I this, because you're a mess. I want to say, I want to, <laughs> I want to, you know, here's, here's you are the master pimp. No, nobody nigga, can do that. He, you are the master pimp, <laughs> and you are the master, do, do you see why? Yes. I am the, I'm kind of like we the bridge. We still didn't introduce everybody. I, yeah, Hold up, let's yeah, step yeah, back, let's, let's step uh, back for a second. Let me take a quick call real quick, because this guy, Bob, Bob, I'm sorry, dude. Bob. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, man. I, I'm going to try to get to these calls, but fucking Jeffrey, just unbelievable. He brought the perfect woman here. Perfect. <laughs> retarded and gorgeous at the same time. <laughs> but not mentally retarded, but just beautiful, retarded and crippled uh. by her own loveliness. <laughs> she looks like one of these third world high porn, uh, these one of these, Beautiful, uh, beautifully disabled. These, these fucking Russian Beautiful porn disabled. stars. She's gorgeous. <laughs> She's beautifully she disabled. She doesn't say shit. I can't She's listen to it. She's she doesn't. I'm, 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 I'm absorbing all the self-absorbency over here with you two guys and just trying to get a full grasp of how you can even make a woman come. Look at this, us. This, this is what I like. Yeah, That's you see that? You see how it's changing? It's, I have, a little, I have 45 it's a little less magical now. This no, is no, what no, I no, like, no, I'm just waiting for you guys. I'm wait, just wait, wait, grass, What does Scarface say? <laughs> Keep it coming, baby. I like it. You, you, you got to look at your eye like you ain't been fucked in a year. I just got <laughs> fucked for 45 minutes. Orgasm straight all the a way. A whole 45 minutes? 45 wow. minutes of a straight up orgasm. And, and who is this this breathing dildo that you <laughs> use that you pro probably said right there right there that's what I like do it there do it right there because that's how I come if I fuck you mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuck you like I fuck you and if you don't come that's your fault <laughs> it ain't that, my fault that, but that's being self-absorbed and that's no, it's why not. it's being given because being you gay. it's being giving it's being gay because i'll find a spot gay. you never even knew about that's and but see you're doing the only page, way that would happen is if you had a 10 inch that's cock. that's what well, I, I, I don't have that also well, that's why I have to where you like it as well excuse me isn't it all right to say where you like it as well not just take it These however the guy gives it to you yes yes because it trickles down from me Never forget, beautiful, you are the Triple fuck down. E all the time. No matter what you're doing, you're getting fucked. The fuck E can't really give directions. <laughs> Erections? Bob, Not what do you think about this? The other way you I'm sorry, what, what was your goddamn question, Bob? Because I'm, I'm just surrounded. <laughs> this, is, this is like WrestleMania, nigga. <laughs> You know, that, that's right. I, I'm going to make a statement I originally called for, but I have to tell you, you know, I, I don't know if Jeff believes it. He may be a good guy, but he is so full of shit. He's, 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 he's not. He's not he's, full of shit. And the thing is, he's not full of shit, Bob. He's not full of shit. It's like, I understand your emotions about it because I get the same emotions about Jeff. Yeah. But I know it's not full of shit. I'm envious it's of righteous. Jeff. It's, it's, it's a righteous that. thing, man. It really is. Uh, Jeff is amazing. It, but he's got, <clears throat> he's got a penis gill. He doesn't want to pleasure himself. And he, and, and he takes the simplest of actions yeah, yeah, yeah. and reactions that women have. And he wants to mystify them and make them all these mysterious Which, hey, things. Hey, but Bob, you know what? That's not a bad thing. But here's the thing that I say, always say, I say to Jeff is it doesn't help mankind. Your no. lack, your, it doesn't help Bob. It doesn't help me. It doesn't yeah. help Boogie. It helps you. It doesn't help the average man who can't well, grasp where he's going. Shut up. 
Can I look? Grab other people are saying. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, baby. Because you, you, she needs some medicine. I it's, like her. It's, 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 he is <clears throat> mystical. I mean, you, I can understand what you're saying, but you can't. He's a level 12 pimp, and you, you, <laughs> you, he's, you're talking you guys are to like people. like level one and two. Oh, he's got an amazing aura about him. That's what attracts people. Ah, and beautiful sh- things. Man, because I, you can't I, get I, 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 a lot of his status could end up in his own head. All right. Say that again. A lot of his own status and as what he's achieved and his level of theoretical connectedness is all in his own head. Is this well, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's all not. in all our no, heads, to be honest with you. Know <clears throat> it's all in all our. See, but you gotta understand, though, yeah. Pamela. You, thank you, Bob. You gotta understand, Pamela. See, this is one of the things that frustrate me a little bit about women. Also, you gotta understand the anger of bob he was pretty what it, pissed what it sounds like you can't dismiss it it's an underground anger that jeffrey has had that underlying anger but he has worked through it worked through it with his concepts i have underlying anger and my anger is outward frustration it still worked through it and, and i worked through it with, yeah. f- with with a philosophical standpoint that i stand on it's not like i'm gonna choke a bitch i'm gonna punch him <laughs> it's more like shut the Let fuck me- up with your bullshit he has underlying anger that he worked through for his own style drew boogie you don't understand that because you've never had to work what, through. Let me ask you something where do you think his anger comes from where, where do you think bob's anger comes from resentment the fact that women he doesn't get women. Exactly. At okay, all. He has probably yeah. has a small penis. That see why not, not, it why doesn't have to be that. It does not have to be that most men. But do you why do you why do that? It doesn't have to be about the yeah, guy. Wait, 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 hold on. It doesn't Ask it's all her, about how you love and connect with a woman. Why do you do that? I guarantee she doesn't know. I'm asking you. I'm asking I guarantee she doesn't know why she what no. What I mean. What doing that means. Means, okay. that's right. It's like men Here's always judging you by you're the size saying, of your boobs. You're saying something. that it, it, you're right. It does come from his Ask anger. Ask what that means. Ask what does what that, that mean? mean? What does that mean? When Re- I'm saying why do you do that? When I'm saying why do you do that, do you know what I'm talking about? When Re- I say, Re- you I, need said, more, I need more roots. Where are you no, coming you from? Said, no, you, I, you said, I said, why do you think he's angry? You said because he doesn't get women. And then you said, because he's probably he, got he a, doesn't, wait, wait, no, let me finish. You, you asked me to explain it. You All said, right. let me, I, I, I said, you said because he's angry and because <clears> he probably <throat> has a small penis. And I stopped you and I said, why do you do that? What am I talking about? What is that that I'm saying? Why are you doing that? Explaining to she what? Has, no. She doesn't no. even get it. Explain. She doesn't even get it. Isn't that now, right? Isn't that interesting? Now, now Isn't that this is what I know what the fuck he's talking about. I know what he's talking about. You know about. what he's Absolutely. talking about. Absolutely. He knows what he's talking about, but she don't know what the fuck he means by that question, and, and she doesn't would, even try to understand. I would think she would know. That's interesting I to me. I would not I, think. That's why I, I, thought, I would think she did it on purpose. I would think she did it on purpose. No, this it's, is it's, what it's, I mean when I when my anger is we both are going hmm you, I don't believe any woman immediately he didn't have to say that I know that she don't know what the fuck he's talking about that's it that's she, how I feel about it. what you did was you reduced men to penis size <laughs> that's that's yeah, the standard that, of that a man is, that is penis size. Two and that's like saying that wrong <laughs> that's like judging is, women the by the size why, of their boobs the, all right it is wrong and you admit it because that, that was wrong and the reason why that. you're admitting it is because Jeff is what, so what and I'm smooth to say about it and he's got wait let me finish he's got this he's got this beautiful aura and so he can put it in a way that doesn't offend you and you go well I, I shouldn't sense. have done that but <clears> what I'm saying <throat> to you is, but you jump to that conclusion I'm asking you not okay, so you understand what he's talking about but I'm asking you why did you do that why did you go there? Why did I go there with him? Why does he hate women the way he does? No. I'm assuming. No, no, no she's still not it. getting it. Now you're, 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 now you're, now you're, you're shifting I'm the plan. Call. I'm asking you a, sp- a specific. Let me ask another call. Let's, let's go it's back natural. to natural. Because we got a long show. She didn't have to think that's about why, it. It just came. It's right, natural. It came it's natural. But that's this the point. Is, right. this, is why, this is why I love her on this show already. Uh-huh. This is, she's perfect. <laughs> because this is... Well, it's an example of how women take away men's power. But men, men do the same fucking thing a lot of times. Listen this to is this. what I don't want. Jeff, I'm taking okay. another call. Okay, Because you're frustrating me. I don't want 
We no. have enough shit for their side of not understanding. It's not shit. about their side, but listen what to this. Walk into a club with a beautiful you girl. Is what you I'm saying. Walk into a club with a beautiful girl and see how other guys treat you. That they don't try to step on your territory so and start asking but that's the asking questions. Of what guys do. That's what but that's do. fucked and up. That's the it's because they're girl. jealous. No, but, no, but, no, but the not. thing is, if we a guy walks it, up I'm to you, if you're with a beautiful girl and a guy walks up to you and he says to you. Oh, she's really beautiful, yes. right in front of her. Yes. You take that as a compliment? Motherfuck right, yeah. nigga. No, man. Then, you know what that's like? Right? Oh, no. like, like, he's We're saying it. Ready? He's I, saying he, it to your girl. He's, he's how, not saying it to you. Here's how I'm born I don't need down. a motherfucker Jeff, to tell me my Jeff, girl looks Jeff, good. Jeff, Jeff, I know she looks Jeff, good. Jeff, yeah. Jeff, really? Jeff, that offends you. Jeff, Jeff fucking Jeff, offends me. This is what it... Ready? What? This is how I look at it. This is how fucked up I am. Yeah. Jeff, hey, man, your glasses are wonderful. That's the same thing. Those blue Absolutely lenses. Absolutely not. Wait a minute. Because I don't how, own her. She's not a possession yes, of mine. Yes, she is. No, no. And, and, and she's an, not a possession. She's an object of desire that has nothing to do with you. I don't need some strange That's motherfucker arrogance. to come and tell me that my girl yes, looks good. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, but Jeff, I know she looks good because she wouldn't be with me if she didn't look good. Yeah, but Jeff, <laughs> I wouldn't be there. I wouldn't be there in the first place with her. I don't it need a strange guy. It, it Why do I need me. his compliment? It, it surprises me. Do you think me. that the woman chooses the guy? No. Say that again, beautiful. You no. don't think that the woman chooses no, the we guy? Set up, no, we set up the conditions that you choose us. No. We set up all the conditions no. that you choose us. <laughs> absolutely. Right. You are. No, we, we, got absolutely. we got all the bait. We absolutely <clears throat> set up the conditions. We got so that all you, the bait. You, like, you don't, you, I mean, you may pick a guy at random that you find, a, a, mm -hmm. you know, attractive but all of those things that where where he is has this aura and he knows how to talk to you and those are all things that we've learned from from you, when we were me, when we me, our me, first inception on attraction from the being women. rejected we, Jack, Jack, we, let me let me say what you do you choose but it's not a choose like we choose you choose it's almost an unsatisfying feeling your choice because you have to choose as if you're scratching a lottery ticket meaning you look at the you survey the land and go he's nice and your skill this is what I mean your skill is to stand there and go I'll get his attention so that he comes over with his skills because you have no skill to get a man your skill is your beauty you don't know how to get a dude. You don't know how to talk your way into nothing. You don't know how to talk your way into happiness. You never had to move and shake and talk and figure shit out and get rejected on a regular basis. You don't. That's not your existence. So, of course not. You don't choose a guy. A guy chooses you and you choose to go. I actually yes. did need to develop that because growing up, guys didn't date me. I don't know if it was the fact they were intimidated by me yes. or whatever. Yes. But they did not. You're date tall me. and beautiful. That's why they didn't date you. Because they couldn't come at you. That's why fat girls and ugly girls got boyfriends. Because guys come up to them with the proper, like, man shit. Confidence. They Confidence. come up to a fat bitch and go, hey, fat bitch. <laughs> hey. But it's not, they don't say that. But that's the, that's the aura they give out. That's the magic they get out. They go, I, f baby, come on. You ain't got no fight Options. against this shit. <laughs> Hey, what's up, ugly bitch or goofy looking bitch or oh wow, you got a cut on your forehead. Let me let me stare at that for a minute and let you know that you ain't shit. Now I'm coming at you. But beautiful women, guys feel, and this is why beautiful women are heartbroken constantly, because guys come up to them with our worst aspect of getting a women, which is yeah, lying. And we will lie mm -hmm. to get some. We will imply love to get some pussy. We will be lovable. To get some pussy. Loving. Hello, beautiful. Oh, my God. Hello, Pamela. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. You are... I know you hear this all the time. You're one of the most beautiful women I've seen all day. And I'm and please, I, I've, I, I've seen a lot of women today. It's something so striking about you. Listen, Norfolk, can I buy you a drink? You don't... Niggas don't come up to you and go, God damn, look at that titty meat hanging out. What, <laughs> what, color, what color is your nipple, well, bitch? On both and, levels, <clears throat> though, on that first one, we also can tell if someone's, like, just... Instantly, as soon you, as I meet and someone, I can tell by their Of course, but you'll never. Let me tell you why women don't play chess. You play chess? Yes. Are you good? Of course Pretty not. Pretty decent. No, because you took too long, Jack. You're, you're not that good. <laughs> you play chess? <laughs> you don't play chess. I'm going to tell you why chess, women don't play chess. Because chess is a consequence to that game. It's a game where Levels. you have to think 12 steps ahead. So you have to think, all right, if I say this. She's going to think that I'm doing this, but I'm really doing this. And I know she doesn't have 
five levels of thinking to my bullshit. She doesn't have to. Because I have 25 levels of bullshit. You don't have to have that. I think you have to do that because you have to get laid. So you try to think of all these different levels and stages and think ahead of women because you, that's have, not to, true. you have to cover up your bullshit 24-7. I, I have a girlfriend. That's, that's not necessarily true. Let's call true. her. That's not real. Let's, you don't want to call her. Oh, no. You don't want to do that. <laughs> listen, oh, oh, listen. Oh, and Pamela, oh, see, this is why it's good you're here because your confidence level, I would never want to knock it down, but I do want to introduce the term of consequence to your life. Options. You don't. You've never. Re- you really had to have a different way of thinking. You think that this is some old anger bullshit. This is some stuff that you can just uh, marginalize as just some fat angry dude. This is thought out shit, baby. This is. This is. I'm not on the radio because I'm just a raving lunatic. I'm telling you, <laughs> my girlfriend's gorgeous. She's a gorgeous bitch. Absolutely. But she, I've seen I know. Her. I know of my girlfriend. She's abusive, and it's not of her fault. She's abusive because that's her nature, because women don't want to win. You want a winner. And that's what women test constantly. Is this nigga the winner that I think he is? So you come at us and try to make us losers. And what 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 a, a loser is, is a guy that lets his woman make his happiness because we don't know how to love. Men don't. I believe this. When we love a chick, we're actually copying what she does. We copy you. We go, uh, well, we go, well, I think women like to hold hands in the park. I think women like <laughs> to snuggle. I think really a well, man's that, love. That's, that's what the, 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 the righteousness of Jeff is because Jeff is really. No. Uh, he, he <laughs> does this, like this motherfucker. He developed just, it. He just knows no, I, what he, they like. I gotta, but Jeff in his evil. Wait a minute, man. Jeff in his evil. In his ultimate evil, doesn't attach. I'm talking about a motherfucker that blows bu- bubbles on his girl's stomach. <laughs> and I love you, booby. <laughs> he does that, but in the back of Jeff's mind, he's like, <laughs> I'm going to blow bubbles on this bitch's stomach, and she's going to go, <laughs> and he's going to go. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, because I, I, you know You me, do the same but shit. But I'm not, but it's, I like women. I like. Nigga, I, I like, like them too. But you I like yours like, no, well done no, on a spit. That, you yeah, like yeah. <laughs> you want to put an apple in their mouth. Yeah. You, you want to put an apple in their mouth. <laughs> you like to carve them up. Hold on, hold on, I man. like my women live. <laughs> we're going to throw. When I, when I eat them. We're going to throw a couple of. Um, we're going to call a couple of. Couple of uh, there's some girls online. It was a girl, huh? Casey? No. Pamela? Pamela called him out after hung up. Okay, here we go. Pamela, Bob, Bob hung up. Wait, Hello, is that Bob again? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where was the, there was a bitch. She gone? I, well, if there was, she's gone me, now. Yeah. Patrice, let me give some consequences here, okay? Okay. All right. It, it, you know, the, the frustration, it was interesting because as, as soon as uh, Miss Page, you know, got her chance to speak, one of the things that she threw out at the end was, black guy's obviously angry because he doesn't get laid and he's got a small penis. Okay. okay, okay. So let me first tell you where the true anger comes from and then show you the results of that anger. All right, spit it out, said. nigga. Go ahead. All right. First, the, 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 the anger is not, it's not anger at anybody specific. We know, we know. Just the, say it. But it's the power, it's the, it's the power that anybody has over us is the power of their perception. And people like Jeff feed into this mystical crap, and if enough women believe it, like every woman in Seattle, then they start to believe it, too, and they act accordingly. And then as soon as they get into a corner where they have to try to explain themselves and go beyond just this acceptance of, oh, I have this mystical power, mm-hmm. then we pull out the old ammunition, oh, it doesn't get laid, must have a small yeah, We covered that, though. And if you covered saw that. what Miss Page said, as soon as she said that, if she retracts on her own self and, and she makes some comments. Yeah, but that's... I retracted that's, 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 because I was attacked no, by the host. No, that's, no, that's, that's, that's because react. I asked her. That's because I asked... This is, uh, I asked her Did you just why, victimize yourself? Did, yeah. You you, did you just me. did you I just victimize you threw me out there? Uh, uh, you, you threw me out there. Did I really? You threw me out there. Okay, good. I, love I just her. I asked her why she felt that. Like mm-hmm. I asked her why why did she do it? And I asked her what is the thing in her gut that made her go uh, you, he's got a small penis, and then she didn't have any the, answer. The, the for interesting why thing she was, she did didn't that. do it on purpose. It was no, natural. No, it, it, was it, natural. Was, it, it was natural. It wasn't, wasn't contrived. But it was my. It's what it women my, do. My point was to make her look 
at what at was what, the gut oh, thing absolutely. that made you go there. Not, not that if you went there and it was natural and it wasn't contrived, that's, but what made you go there? You don't know this guy from nothing. He could have a, a baby arm, but you went <laughs> there because you, that's where you felt, what I'm saying is, look, what makes you a better woman is if you go to that gut feeling and you ask yourself, what ultimately is the thing that made me feel that way that I should go that way? Cause you're better than that. I, Hey, Jim. And that's why I said I apologize. Right, but I'm I'm not so the apology. I, so a, the good thing about a wim, a woman is that Jim, we, we got know Jim we're on wrong, the line. We admit we're wrong. Men the, don't the, do the, that. the apology wasn't the point. The point was the self exploration of what made you do it. In Hold on, and that Hold it on. happened so naturally. Right. Exactly. Was, was, do we have from... Jim on the line? Is he yeah. talking? Is he there, Jim? I'm gonna what tell you what on? you see. I love this. This is why this girl may be the greatest woman in in the studio other than the beautiful jack one of course <laughs> is that hey. look at her she's getting tired yeah. but see she's bringing Aww. out some frustrating frustrations in you which is a beautiful thing i love that and even i seen a hint of anger in jeff well a lot of things she <laughs> this girl is fantastic because she is almost what's the word critically not critically when you have cancer, in operable cancer? Um, terminally. Terminal! <laughs> with her <laughs> shit. And then, here's where she went, which I like. She knows the that flexing. I'm... She already knows I'm passionate, right? Mm -hmm. But she did rule number 10 on the cornball girl list, <laughs> which is she took something and made me into the screaming maniac that made her feel uncomfortable and she victimized herself and made me victimize her, which lets me know that she has about three or four levels, but not five. She thinks she has five, but she went to cornball. Why are you attacking me? I don't understand. And she came in with all this, but she still used that bullshit. This is why men are angry, Jeff. This is why your stilo is like you need an apprentice. <laughs> to pass it on. <laughs> now, your stilo is getting pussy. Me, and, and again, don't... Hey, please, great. Jacqueline. My stilo is motherfuckers calling in going, I fucking hate women. And women don't even understand what that means that guys hate them. They think it's like, oh my God, they want to rape and kill us. No, it's the bullshit that we have to listen That's to. We got to listen to your dumb stories. We got to listen to you fucking be... Uh, 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 have a personality when you don't really have one. Then men have to go and figure it out, bro. That's what they yes, do. Because you don't want to go through your whole life angry and shit. Because yeah. that's the only game in town. Who are you going to deal with if you're not dealing with but women? Just because, so fucking figure it out. Just because you put it out there like, well, you like a time. wizard... No, because I, I put it out there. Time. If I put it out there like an ogre, you put it out there like a wizard. <laughs> I'm doing it like we, an elf. Yeah, we, it's all the same, nigga. Hold up. What is, is I'm sorry, nigga. What what is this guy's name? Jim. Uh, Jim. Jim, did you hang up? Jim, what do you what do you got, man? I'm right here, man. Hey, I'm on the road right now, y'all. Good yeah, for you, motherfucker. What you got to say? Cuz I'm angry, man. Hey. Well, I, first off, I want to put through a little scenario for Pamela real quick. <laughs> see, right, Pamela, hey, see you're a hit, baby. I love it. Throw it to me. Okay, first off, say say you in a club or in a bar or whatever and shit. You got five, six motherfuckers around you. They're like on your scale of like one to ten, say they're like an average of like eight to like nine. Say you got some guy that's about a six or seven walk up to you, and he just says, you know, excuse me guys, whenever you want to try having a serious conversation, I'll be sitting over here, and just walks away. What's your response to something like that? I would think that was the sexiest, most aggressive no. thing and very dominant of you, and I would definitely push the other ones aside, and that tells me that you have the passion to maybe take me home. But that's the horse shit. But he's got the balls that, yeah, to but, do it, to, oh, push no. you, to push you motherfucking he, pussy he, out the way, has, and to come over to me so he can try to get the real good pussy. No, You're the best, Thank Jim. you, Jim. Thank you so he, much, has buddy. The, he, might, he might just have well, the he's game. Well, then he's got the game of Jeff, to, and he just took uh, away Let me ask you guys a question. Are you aware of something uh, called the seduction community? Yes. The seduction community? Yes. It's fucking horse shit. I mean, it's guys who teach this shit who you wouldn't want to be anything like. But they teach these games, these okay. tricks. The games. Right? Win, games. Win, hey, win, listen, win. keep that thought. Keep that thought. We got to take a break. Okay. Um, listen, stay on the line. We're going to answer as many calls as we can. Uh, 
Shit, we didn't. We you still didn't went out of order. The, you didn't we didn't introduce the, everybody. Yeah. We're gonna introduce everybody when we come back. Okay. But uh, we're gonna take a break. So please, y'all hang in there, motherfuckers. Call Patrice O'Neill on the Black Phillips Show eight six six Wow One Wow. You can call. I will. I'll listen to you talk about nothing. That's eight six six Wow One Wow. It's Annie up time, bitch. I'm a pimp. I want to talk later. I want this to be the last time we talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about what we just talked about ever again. All right. That's your point of view. I understand that. I understand. If you want me to sit here and run the board, I'll no, I don't want you to do that. And that's what I'll do. I don't want you to do that. I want you to do what you did, but I don't want you to think that I have to agree with you. You don't have to. I don't. Not at all. You could you could take it uh, a complete 180 and walk in the complete opposite direction. That's what I do. I'm here to <laughs> offer feedback, and I'm here to try and steer... Your feedback. Now, if this was a democracy, which this world is, there's two motherfuckers that disagreed that been here as long as you... As, uh, this, we been, so he disagrees. Okay, that's fine, but they, they also are not in, ra- in radio as a business. Like, would you, well, how would, all right, let's say, let's say I was, I was coming up with some stand up and I came to you and I started to tell you what I felt I was trying to do with my stand. And you're trying to tell me, well, you know what you should really do? Cause I would trust you because why you've been in the business way longer. So if I told you what to do with your comedy based on what I do with mine, you should tell me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point that I'm, I'm not saying that what's going on is bad. I'm just saying, yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad. Because what's the what's the opposition to that? It's just that it's be, it, it it goes on for a very long time and becomes monotonous to the listener. It doesn't. I know when it becomes monotonous. I know. That's what I'm good at. I know. And if the listeners don't know, that, that we'll teach them. Just like I have to teach you what's monotonous. What you want to play? You have a sound you want? You want a sound? Push a sound. You want me to have play a sound? Play, just play. Go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm trying to tell you that. What do you want? You want the tears to come out of my eyes? <laughs> I want the buttons. Like we sitting around talking is passion. Half the people calling is they're passionate. They 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 know if I'm sitting there talking about something, and somebody's like, look, if I'm sitting there discussing something with Jeff without this fucking radio show, okay? And I say, Jeff, this is how I feel about it. We're not gonna look at our watch and say. Oops, <laughs> this has been going on too long. We should take a break from this and then move on to the next subject. That's not how people live. I don't give a fuck about how radio does it. I'm talking about people. People. You understand what I'm saying? I do. So if a person is listening and they go, I'm tired, move on to the next subject. What? How, who's to tell that the next subject will be something they want to listen to? They'll tune out any fucking way. I'm not saying to move on to the next subject, but we could we could instead of going on about it for as long as we could we could use the the topic that we're on to seg into different things. <laughs> and and a, and a second of all, in case you didn't know, I'm trying to get this show to where it would be a weekly sh- how to do it in a weekly format. I'm gonna tell you why I start switching it up a little bit. By the way, I'm doing it because you have to find a way. To to say something that pertains to how you feel at the time. I can't like some weeks I don't feel like a pimp. So I have to make sure that people understand that they're getting into grown men with who 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 have they have we have a a, a diversity with how we feel. It's you understand not, what I'm saying? It's not contrived. It's 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 an organic situation, dude, and organically we were talking. We didn't put, because there was times where I was getting ready to click a caller, and then Pamela would say something that made a motherfucker say, for, fuck the caller for a second. Because we're getting into something that, see, you're seeing it as entertainment, which I understand. But but you got to understand what I'm doing is, there's motherfuckers. Like, when I said I went to Seattle and Seattle's pussy whip, I didn't say that shit, like, as entertainment value. Pittsburgh, pussy whipped. Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
Pussy whipped. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Pussy whipped. Connecticut. Pussy whipped. This is this is for real. There's motherfuckers out there saying to other guys, yo, this is inappropriate. This is terrible. This is misogyny. Motherfuckers need help. And if I'm saying on... I'm not saying to not help them. Look it. Go to Glenn. Go to Glenn right now. Here we go, Glenn. Here you go, Glenn. <laughs> Ready? Go ahead, Glenn. Uh, yeah, hey. Uh, I was just thinking that, uh, Patrice, you were kind of uh, going on and on about the deal. That's true. Not. I'm going to move on. So, <laughs> he, he said what he had to say. That's good enough. I moved on. He raised a good point. You're I'm monotonous not, with your anger. Yeah. Yeah. I moved on. Yeah. But but Jeff is not monotonous with his thing. He's good at what he does. <laughs> He's really good at what he does, and he continues to write more books and expand on his mm -hmm. horizon. You just stay on the most angered, pissed off <laughs> amount of what, energy. He expands like what your horizon? energy. You're so negative. Like your energy. Really? Yeah, it really does. Good. I'm so glad she, she just took good. the heat off of me. <laughs> good. Do you well, understand? No, you're raising Danny? good points. It is radio. It is entertainment. Let's move on. Right. That's move why on have, to that's what? Why you have, move on to. You tell me what to move on to. It's your show. There you go. I, that's think, what, I think you already had one caller just you, say you are kind of rambling. You and keep tell on going. me. Let's move on. You tell me what to move on to. It's your show. Move on to a good. You know what it was? Okay. You know what? It was? Let me just hey, Michelle. Me. How you doing? Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I have a question for you. Go ahead. You say that women, like, no matter whether they're beautiful or they're ugly, they have this attitude like men owe us or that they. You know, they should give us everything, no matter what we look like. What about women who are a attractive, normal attractive, not obviously like this Pamela person, but that settle with these piece of shit men? What the hell is going on in their head? Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. And that's where a lot of this anger comes from, Patrice, because he has low self-esteem, too, and he's covering out with his anger. No, he doesn't have low <laughs> self-esteem. His, his anger comes from... When, when guys grow up, they go through long periods of rejection. All guys. Guys want many more so girls than females. they can actually have. It just happens that way. I'm going to ask you a question in a minute, Michelle, but go ahead. And, okay. and after a while, you start to resent the fact that women have this tremendous power over you. And beautiful women have the most power of all. Everyone wants that, but not everyone can get it. Can I? Can I? May Please. I? Yeah. <laughs> You have to may, raise may, your hand. May I? Raise your hand. Because first. of my, my anger. <laughs> Let me tell you why women end up with assholes. Because innately, that's what they want. An asshole represents a person, a man, who's better What's that noise? than them. They're her kids, her mistakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like pussy. It ends up, it end, they end up because innately, you do not want to run the show. So when you get a man that you think is worthy of being the man, you try to make him this bitch. I'm, I'm, you just listen to the show. I'm going to turn this. Cause I'm you got, sorry, Patrice. You finished breast, breastfeeding or whatever. <laughs> it, the thing is, I don't, I don't agree with that. That's low self-esteem for a woman to be with a guy who's an asshole. It's settling. That's, that's it, their innate nature to want to be with a guy that they feel is better than them. I Alpha. would never, ever date a guy that's like that. That's why you don't have ever. love in your life. A lot of women get guys who are not as good so that they can help make them better. They take say it on as like a project. Yes. Yeah. They take Absolutely. guys who they feel they can make better by taking them on so as they a project. Take on, they and take, take on, on them. Here's what they take on. They take on guys that they feel... And this is what women don't understand why they don't have happiness. Because they don't know how to initiate it. Meaning this... Women cannot elevate a man to his highest level. It, the, the, a, a man at man his highest level. Man has to do that level, for himself. Exactly. Uh, it, man has to do that for himself. And when yeah. a man does that, a, what, the, what's the highest title a woman can have? A wife. In, in this world. The highest title? Other than goddess or whatever. Queen. Queen. You, would mm -hmm. you agree? Yeah, okay. What's the highest level that a man can have? King. king. Are, are king and queen equal... No. 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 You can be a queen because I'm a king. I can't be a king because you're a queen. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Women are innately abusive. Pamela is abusive. She's putting it on me like I'm Mr. Bull. At least I'm honest about my bullshit. She's not yet. But she's angry because she don't know why she's not happy. 
But then I'm so that makes happy. her uh, that, make, not. that makes I, her honest about it because she's really not explored it in the first place. And she, she 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 feels what she feels and it comes out of her. I lay it out flat. But she didn't do it. She didn't even do it in a mean spirited no, no, way. It, it didn't come from a bad place. No, it didn't. Co- it, it came naturally. naturally. It was natural. That's what exactly. was weird. I don't think so. Yeah, that's my point of view. Why don't you have a boyfriend, Pamela? Why are you assuming I don't? You don't. How do you know? Fair enough. Because you asked. Yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> you keep talking. All you have to do is say yes or no. You think you're special, yes. but you're typical, and this is why I like you. Really typical. Let me see. Thanks for saying that. Da, da, da. What women are trying to do? All right, we'll go to Colin, because we'll go to calls. Colin! Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, um, since, like, uh, I've been trying to socialize myself a little better, and I've kind of, like, discovered that what a woman wants is not necessarily the same thing that will, like, cause a man to be attractive to her. It's almost like, uh, I, I don't really know. I mean, I'm kind of having a hard time explaining it, but it's like the idea of a man is more powerful than the reality of a man to a woman. I think I understand what you're saying. Like a woman wants to get, they, they're in love with the idea of being in love. They're in love with the idea of being married. They're in love with the titles. They're in love with what they think they're supposed to be in love with, but they don't have their own point of view. Right, Which is right. what well, I think, well, but that man, I'm an asshole, and I'm hateful. You, you said something today that was a bordering on genius to me. When the woman said she wanted Thanks, to buddy. win a lottery ticket... Mm. And you told her to go out and meet meet a lottery ticket. That, but, that, but, that but, men, but you, do men you were a lottery that, ticket. That's a, that's a mindset. That's what women do. This is what I was saying to Jacqueline is the thing. Women can't go out and go, I am going to find love, which is what they want. They have to have love come into their life. Like a lottery ticket. They scratch and they go, I hope I meet the well, you know, guy that's going to make me happy. Men actively go out and find our happiness. And what that is, is if me, Drew, Dante went out, we would, I'm, I'm not going to speak for you, no. but if me, <laughs> Drew, we, we would not get together and go, hey, yo, we're going out to find that special someone. <laughs> hey, let's get out there and find love, baby. Let's no. do that. But when you saw someone, we would be doing the approaching. Women, in general, do not do the approaching. There are which sometimes is why that happens. That, which but is why just... they're in the predicament they're in, because I have to dance to get Pamela but she doesn't have to dance to get what she wants. She what? doesn't know how to get and, what she and, wants. And that's I'm what a makes us. And that's what, what the hell makes, are you talking about? And that's what makes men resentful. <laughs> but that's money. It, it, you're not. You're not dancing for love. Well, it's interesting that she said that. Have you ever seen the guys that strippers pick as boyfriends? Usually unemployed guys who are going nowhere. Mm-hmm. Now some of these girls are girls who are blessed with such beauty that it's fucking unbelievable. And you see the guys that they hook up with. Who That's are they the face to? I like too, by but, the way, Pamela. But they still think those guys I like are better. Dejected, they, angry. What am I doing here, face? Because that's real <laughs> face, baby. I like that. No, don't is, think I don't like that. <laughs> you're totally assuming the wrong. No, thing. I'm not. I'm absolutely right. Um, <laughs> here we go. It must be great to be your own best friend. Here we go. I have to say, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, how are you, man, Jerry? I'm doing all right. Well, I'm trying to move on. Go ahead, man. The I have is, doesn't matter what the fucking woman looks like. You talk to her long enough, you're going to get her in bed. I, I, uh, go ahead and elaborate, nigga. Shit, tell us something. I have never had a problem with getting any woman into bed. As long as you can talk to her, relate on some point, you're going to get her into bed. Go ahead, man. You got to tell us something. How? He's Give saying time scenario. invested. Oh, so just staying with a long time, enough, just talking long enough. I think, he's just saying, I think he's saying being very smart and trying to figure out what that woman's pet peeves are and understanding her completely. Do you think fucking Jerry the Trucker is thinking that? <laughs> this is what this guy is saying. He's not That's saying Jerry that. I think this is exactly Go, what he's Jerry, saying. Jerry, are you saying it's that? Com- yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Shut your mouth. He's just getting to know the woman, taking the time. You won't take the time. So you're saying get to know her. Yeah. That's not necessarily true. It doesn't, true. It doesn't, oh, it doesn't guys, mean years, that doesn't decades. Mean, yeah, you no, have that to. doesn't mean that everything that I'm going to say to her is is always the truth. <laughs> so you're basically <laughs> saying, lot of li- <laughs> see, and I knew what he meant by get to know her, right? Here's what he means. Get her to think that you're getting to know her. <laughs> Lie. Just say the truth, nigga. Lie to the bitch. Sometimes you do. There you go, Jerry. Why won't you just come out and say, if, if you listen to this show for any for more than five minutes, you know yeah. to just come out and go lie to her. 
That's what we do. Sometimes you do. <laughs> and you got her thinking, listen to her hopes You're and dreams. Deeper yeah, this is so why tough. Pamela is sick. Thank because you. of you, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Funnier, and I'll see other. You, Thank you for embracing. This is why this is why she's not happy because motherfuckers like Jerry who won't give her a little bit of medicine, a little bit of honesty. Stop with the with the here t- try this beautiful and the and the just well, tell first her, of all, I'm not that type of her bitch anyways. Anger. Yes, you are that type Dude, of bitch. I don't like it when people are like, ooh, uh, no, uh uh-uh. uh. I'm like hardcore, like southern girl. You're not, like, fucking you're do not this. hardcore. Any bitch that's hardcore is a sad bitch. <laughs> I'm hardcore. You'll never be as cool as me. I'm cooler than you. By if, birth. If, if this is what you call cool, then I would definitely not want any Absolutely. part of you. Absolutely. You can't even say that. I'll go make your love to yourself like you do all the time. I'm over it. I make love Let's to myself go. all the time, and I'm happy about it. You make love to yourself, and you're not happy about it. I don't have to touch myself. I have other people do it for me. Right, and, and you will other not be people, one of which is what That's the where sadness the anger comes is. From. You get so upset because you no can't have everything woman, that you want. Let me tell you what a man wants. Men want... Ten of you. You want one guy. Not true. No woman wants more than one guy. That's a lie. I want girls and guys. I want it all. Sex is a beautiful thing. Why can't I have everything? But it's got to be with the right people. But you want love, and you don't have it. I'm a free spirit. What the fuck does that mean? I'm a free spirit. That means I love to love. That's it. Shut the fuck up, Pamela. Shut the fuck up. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Help her out with your <laughs> magic, motherfucker. No, but this I'm, is ca- I'm curious shit. to know because she's a beautiful woman. It, wait, wait, Jeff. Jeff, 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 This is time out. Yeah. Time out. Time out. This is this is what Jeff. When you start off, this yeah. is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start copying Jeff. Okay. Jeff, you went. I'm I'm just curious, and you can hear you're the magical be, bumblebees. But you're gonna do it. Yeah. You're, but, gonna, you're gonna do but it. Really, really, you start off with that, but I started with what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> it's all about the way you approach someone. Exactly, and I and that's what this is the problem. He's discovered the. He's, he's discovered mastered it. He's mastered. He's learned Kool-Aid. the bullshit. Inside of the castor oil. The, 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 he creates bitch, Kool-Aid, man. Take the, the arsenic, castor oil. The arsenic in the Kool-Aid. Take it. <laughs> take it, bitch. Jeff, Jeff is Jim Jones of Kool-Aid. Uh, let me, I'm curious. There's the curiosity blanket that's flowing over. What do you mean? The magical right bumblebees. I love I'll it. I'll give it to you a bitch straight. Hold your nose. And fuck it. <laughs> if, you, if, but if, you're saying, if you're saying that you're hardcore, then why wouldn't you want it hardcore? Why, why do I you do have, like it hardcore. Then um, why is it? Why do you have to? Why, why do they have to, why does it have to be the way it's presented to you? The, if the truth it's about is, the way you approach any person in any type of situation. So what you're saying is truth is not really. It's it's a matter of how it's you say the truth. It's perception of what the other guy said. The one who I said you got a small dick. It is about perception, how you perceive someone, and how but you, you want didn't. To be but you didn't go. He attacked hey, me. Mister, let me ask you a question. Ah. Oh. No, I want to. I want to. I want to ask both the girls. I want to bo- ask both the girls a question. How do you feel when a guy comes over and compliments you on your physical appearance? A guy comes over and says, "Oh, you're so beautiful." You find that it de- fucking it to- boring? It depends on completely the way he does it. If it's coming from his heart, because you can really tell some guys like, "Yo, man, you have a sexy body," or "Wow, you got an absolutely amazing body." I'm it always, just completely depends. I will always go. Those man, those shoes. Like if you came. I would it always. In my, in my wife, it depends on how you say it. I would how you say, approach you say, me. Those shoes are hot. Pop in and I, oh, I've had a chick walk by, and I go, "Excuse me, excuse me," and she stopped with an attitude, and I go, "Those shoes are smoking." And and all of a sudden, the the the, the whole defense yeah, drops. Yeah, the mechanism drops. But I still want the pussy. Women, though. yeah, That's of course, point. but, but women don't want to hear that. I you understand think they're that. beautiful. I they know they're that. beautiful. So, so what they're saying? What you're saying? What you're saying? What you're saying? What you're saying is. That Man, they no- are fucking dumb. That they want, <laughs> that they want you to feed them a line of bullshit. But as long as it's covered the in right some chocolate, no, they just don't want to hear that same shit over and over. Oh, you're so beautiful. But they know that Every the same fucking shit. Guy in the world but the, the same but, thing. But you're you're trying to catch tuna, but you got different bait. That's what it. That's what it boils and down I'm to. trying to say, oh, you have a striped shirt. I, I know I have a striped shirt. You I don't need to tell me I got a I fucking striped want, shirt. I don't want. I don't want to say. I don't want to listen to the ho- bitch's hopes and dreams till later. No. I don't want to f- be force myself to have to listen to somebody you might not like. And you might not even like I know it. what I want. They know what I want. So why do I have to dance around and, then, and, and ultimately See? lie? 
ultimately lie to get some pussy and then move on with with the speculation that I actually care. But your approach is fresh, at least. Do you know how, much, how boring it must be to beautiful women to be approached all day long by fucking guys who come over and say, oh, you're so beautiful. I eat Can Pamela. I that's why well, I love her face right now. See, I want hatred out of a bitch because I can change it right into love. <laughs> See, indifference is what I worry about. She's trying to be indifferent, but I'm getting right to the cusp of her goofy bullshit. And I love it. I love her face. I love her insults because that's how I get a bitch. Now I can build her up from there instead of... So break her down. This is like the military. Military bitches. <laughs> now you. you get it. That's why I'm not in the military. That's... I don't want it. someone to suck my soul and to drive me no, to no, madness no, where I kill I, myself. I'm not, I'm not power mad. I will take your soul and treat it comfortably. And I will not destroy it. I'll take it and mold it. I'd rather sell it. it to the devil. <laughs> Jacqueline, what do you think about that when people compliment you on your beauty? <laughs> she rather give her soul to the devil. Most of the time I end up on a daily basis with people saying, oh, you're so hot, or they're like, hey, baby. So by really the way, is. by the way, everybody who's listening, and we'll move on soon. By the way, Jacqueline, we'll get to calls in a minute. I'm sorry, Jenny. <laughs> by the way, Jacqueline is model pretty. Um, she's even... model pretty, like she's runway beautiful, and uh, Pamela is um, Cinemax porn beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> It's a compliment. <laughs> it's, a, it's a compliment. I don't give a shit. Thanks. It really depends <laughs> on There how you go. I want it. There's more. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It really depends on how guys uh, approach me and say what they say to compliment me because I get a lot of, hey, baby, nice legs, or hey. Jacqueline, how and many fucking times do you so get, precious. hey, baby, when and where? Oh, walking down the street every Yo, time mom, I'm going mom. to casting. Like, shut the fuck up, fool. You think I'm going to answer that? Meow, shut up. Do you? Do you, yeah. like, yeah, I do you guys I really think, think, I don't do think, guys you really think when you they think make noises at women that that's going to be attractive to them? No. I but, mean, but guys got to step up their game. That's self-sabotage because they don't believe that they could get a beautiful woman anyway. Yeah, I mean, guys See, screeching their brakes. They take off really fast. They Are women have, chasing minute, their though. car <laughs> to meet them? Wait a minute, Jeff. That yeah. is, that's what the problem is. And that's what I would like the show to be is what your technique is, is based on being different from another motherfucker. Exactly. What, what Dante's technique is based on being different. I'm based on being different, meaning, but at the same time is righteous. Now, my technique in terms of, like, say how Pamela's reacted to me, see, like I said, I'm, I, I hunt bears. <laughs> I hunt bitches who are... Like Rah, coming oh, I at thought you. you said hump bears. I didn't no, say no, no, hunt, hunt, bears hunt. I thought he said hump. hunt. I okay. hunt. I hunt women yeah. who are aggressive mm -hmm. and think that they're more aggressive than a man. That's who I hunt. Mm -hmm. I'm an aggressive dude. And not not meaning I punch bitches in the face or something. I'm just arguing. Back of the head. The back, back of the head. in my head. I'm I'm fucking I'm fucking <laughs> with a big cerebral stick. with my aggression. Mm -hmm. Your Bunny hunter. He's a bunny hunter. Yes, but you still are <laughs> aggressive with how you hunt bunnies. I could never get Jacqueline by going, Jacqueline, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Absolutely. <That's, not. laughs> you know, I could get this motherfucker, Pam, by saying, why don't you shut the fuck up? I know I could. Because no one evokes emotion in Pam because she thinks that she got it all figured out. But all you got to do, really, is tell Pam to shut the fuck up. And I don't mean it as a technique. Mm -hmm. I mean it as a bitch. You talk too much. And you don't even know what you're talking about. Shut the fuck up. She needs that. Well, she, she might be intrigued it. by that because probably no one else says it. You have a way. You can say that shit to people. Most people in the world cannot do that. Guys do that. They're not you, guys listening to the show. But what guys do have to do is they have to figure out something unique to say and not that same bullshit that they've been doing since It's not a unique thing they're... to say. It's a new, unique... It's, it's philosophy. It's, 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 a... it's being it's Have right. a fucking personality, man. Have no, a, man. Develop a personality. It ain't even say that. Something. Women it are bored. They're fucking bored. So fuck them! Why should... <laughs> what, they, what have they done to make my life better besides pussy? I don't know. What Depends the fuck on the do we women always have to disco? Do you understand what I'm saying? I absolutely understand. Why the understand. fuck are we always trying to figure out what they fucking need? They they don't sit around trying to figure out what the fuck we need. Because they marginalize the motherfuckers by calling niggas little dicks and calling motherfuckers, oh, they're stupid. I bet he's probably gay. 
so when the fuck do guys blow off a girl who doesn't talk to him and go, she's probably a lesbian. You you couldn't even do no, that. No, no. But well, if she, but if well, actually, I've heard guys do that. Oh, yeah, yeah but, but if the girl's not interested in not them, real, no. Not oh, real. she's probably gay or if, something if, like that. If, yeah. if, if say if Pamela, Pamela said, okay, I'm going to fuck Drew. I'm going to fuck somebody in here. And she just pulled her dress up and showed her pussy. And a guy went, no, thank you. Immediately she go, this nigga's a faggot. Mm. No, you know what? Girls well, are, show, girls are destroyed show, by that. You I know show, that women would be destroyed by that. If I showed women could never ball, handle the rejection, the rejection that men that. take. If I showed my never. Ball, yeah, that would be a big problem. Could I get mm. pussy by showing my balls? Nah, absolutely. That's women. why they don't make low-cut pants for men. <laughs> Because, you know, like a V-cut <laughs> pants with just the tip sticking out? You'll never see that. Because <laughs> it don't work for us. We don't have that low, low it's cut not they, Because they're not attracted to the same things. No, I mean, it doesn't it work. It's, it's, it's a, <laughs> Israelite Jake, Dante, man. You got low oh, cut pants? Oh, that's my boy, no. Israelite Jake. You got like Jake. a V-cut? <laughs> hey, Jake, you there? Yeah, I'm here, baby. My bag, man. I forgot. Mm. Israelite Jake was here last time. I'm, I'm glad yeah. you called. Came. I'm, I'm glad you came back, man. Uh, what's you, going on, man? Because I am sweating, angry at all of this <laughs> horse shit in this room, starting with Pam. Uh, well, you know, you know what it is, man. It goes back to the way the society is set up, man. It's set up again as a facade. Everything is a facade. You can't come out with the truth. Bush went into fucking Iraq. He didn't come out with the truth. Okay. So the men going into these chicks. We got to lie. We can't tell the truth. Uh, baby, listen. This is how I'm feeling. You. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm going to do. All right, ready? Okay, hold on, hold on. Jake, Jake, let me ask you this. What's up? Stop there and explore what you said in the beginning. Why do we have to lie? We have to lie because the women that are next to you are brought up thinking that the world is supposed to be given to them. And it's not like that. You could be wrong. Hold on, let me ask the ladies. Ladies, is that true or is that false? That's absolutely wrong for where I'm coming from. Okay, okay. Where I came okay. from, well, let me say, say, okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this, okay? You're saying it's wrong, but like my man Patrice brings out, we have to give you everything. We have to provide. There's a job that everyone is put on this earth to do. A woman has her place, okay? The woman is put as more important than the man here. A man has to go out and bust his ass every day of the week, but we still have to dissect to deal with a woman. But with a woman, she don't do shit but get her tits right, get her ass right, get her makeup all right, go out there and get a man. We got to get cerebral and play chess which, with which, you which, just which, to take you Which, out. by the way, is boiling down to object of desire, which there women you know. women don't want to be that, but they are that. Like They don't want to be, wanna be an so object. They, they, they don't want to force... be an object until they get that man. They want to force a guy man. to look at them better than exactly. what, what they look at themselves. Why am I? Why is it my job to to look at you and find all the things about you that you ain't found in yourself? Exactly. Because that's exactly. the game. That's what the game is. That is definitely the game. And that's, that's what the, the game is. And that's what I'm tired of playing. And there you go. And then you get guys like Patrice and I who come straight, baby. This is what I am. I'm gonna deal with more than one woman. You either gonna accept me or you're not gonna accept me. All right. This is what I got to offer. And and, and but see, women that hear that think, oh, those women have low self-esteem, and, you know and those women are stupid because I am not. I'm a woman with high levels of morality. And, and let me shut the fuck up. Big piece. Not let you, me talk Pam. Not, not you, baby. Jacqueline. If you ask any man, I don't give a fuck who it is. You ask any man, straight up right now, if you had a choice, this is the woman, his woman, asking him. If I gave you a chance to fuck my best friend, would you? Now, the question that, he, that you just asked, he's going to think that if I say yes, automatically my relationship changes. because now she's going to assume I'm cheating. So he has to lie. But any man, given the chance, is going to fuck a woman. Period. It's built in us to have more than one woman. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jake. We have to explore that. We're going to ask Jeff. Is it built in us to have more than one woman? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> if you're not, you know, now, if you came out, let ready, Jeff. If you came out and said, "Hell, motherfucker, yeah," We'd then Pamela would go, that. "Oh my God, that uh, that is not like you, Jeff." But you go, "See, here's the thing." Here's the thing. <laughs> 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 I 
Twinkles <laughs> in the air, <laughs> butterflies. Big P. Heart, heart music. Why, I want and, heart and, music in the background. And you know what, Big P? That's why everything goes back to that book where it says, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Okay. Tell me yes or no, baby. I don't need to go through the whole fucking spiel. It's either yes, you're feeling me. Oh, no, you're not feeling me. You I didn't want to do that. Listen, you didn't let me oh, answer no. my question. Why do All I right. got to go through the whole magic trick for, baby? I don't want to go through that. Shorty, listen. I'm a man. I got insurance. I got a job paying me a hundred grand a year. This is what I'm dealing with. I like Israel. Like okay, I'm going to have more than <laughs> one woman. That's your religion. But when I'm with you, I'm going to treat you like the queen you are. But understand what it's called. A kingdom. There is no queendom. It's called a kingdom. The queen, queen is, is the king's the bitch, king. but I know the you have a better way to say that, Jeff. No, well, I wanted to, I wanted wanted to get back to what you asked for. Thank you, sir. Before, because a lot of times girls want, say that they want to be your friend, and you want to know, well, is that a possibility? If you're not gay and the woman is attractive, you're always going to want to be with her. And I agree with that. When you asked me before, if you can, you know, if a man can be with more than one woman, how can you not be attracted to her if you're not gay? You get what I'm saying, Doctor? Yeah. I, I, it's just the, a natural the, thing. But the question why is... Why wouldn't you? Okay. Then you're saying, yeah. Why wouldn't you, you be attracted to yeah, her? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to be with her? It's the design to want to. I mean, you desire. Otherwise, you want, you, otherwise you're going to wind up with a sexual dysfunction. You don't want to not react if there's a beautiful woman in your presence. But what do you mean, what do you mean by that, though? That you're always going to want to be with a woman. Women... Some women like to say, oh, he's just a friend. I wouldn't want to... I don't want to spoil the relationship by having an intimate relationship with you. So, but, but basically, the, the question was, do you think... <laughs> Guys are not honest if they say they just want to be friends the with an attractive woman. The question woman. is, yeah. okay, are, are you and Jack one together? I'm not going to say that. We're here together. Yeah, we're here together. <laughs> Absolutely. Are men attracted to more than one woman, even if they're with a, a woman? Yes. Alright, that's that's, yeah. that's simple in that. Do you think that's nature? Yes. Do you would Absolutely. you say that men want to fuck like women want to fuck one guy? No, I don't think so. A I lot. Think, I think you think women have the same desire? Same desires to to want to have and women many it's different. How many women? How many women do you think? Uh, let me not ask you. Let me ask you. Yeah. How many women do you think you could fuck if if allowed to be? How many women? Do you think you would fuck in a week if you could? What would how be a many good number? Have I or no? How many <laughs> would you not have you? Uh, and there's a point to this question. Um, if I could, in a week, different, a little older, seven, seven, seven different bitches. Yeah, I could, so seven maybe different. Maybe nine. Would you? Maybe nine different girls in a week. Yeah. Okay. So Jeff, you think that the fact is here's the difference between. His nine, and if a woman is wanting to match that amount, the difference is he has a, there is a, some sort of, uh, desire. No, not desire. There's some sort of satisfaction you get by actually bagging those nine. He didn't get those nine by pulling his dick out and saying, here's my dick, here's my balls, fuck me. He had to go out there. And, and work and for him. His game. <laughs> and get yeah. that girl. He had to work hard. Get those yeah. nine. Right, exactly. Things is popping. A it woman, <laughs> this is, this is nature. Hard. A woman can walk <laughs> in any place. You this got is what you nature. Want. Yeah. A woman can have a hundred guys fuck her in a month. Absolutely. If she wanted to. If she wanted to. But she doesn't want to. Most of them don't think no that way. Women no women want a hundred no most women don't want nine different dicks inside in a, of in a week mm -hmm. it's a lie if any mm. bitch says she's happy about having a variety of dicks but that's, that's in their vagina and in their mouth <laughs> they're lying <laughs> That's I desire to have different pussy on my face, different pussy on my dick, different bitches talking shit, and getting different bitches. Because so women it's don't have, because have a different mentality. But sex is internal. Sex is internal. I know women that don't even want a guy. To, you don't want a guy coming in your apartment with muddy boots. So you don't want a bunch of dirty dicks <laughs> in your pussy. That's even more personal. Yeah, diseases. But I mean, even if it was, even if you was bagging it up, the point is, 
it's 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 a much more intimate act. There's no happy you're, hoes, Jack. You're la- none. None. There's you're, no you're happy allowing hoes. somebody. You're allowing somebody to to internally take up space in your body, and that is internal in itself. Any and woman who that. says that she can get out, oh, I love it. I love it all. I love a many many different partners. <laughs> lying. <laughs> I'm not saying you're lying, Pam. I'm just. I'm not well, saying. Well, I'm, I'm not a porn star so either. But other girls who are porn stars who fuck for a living for you money. Think they're all lying. They're all lying hoes. Well, well n- no, because they, they're honest, actually, because they get paid. So so if you get paid to fuck, that's a whole other story. I don't judge hookers. I've been with hookers. So <laughs> if you if you get paid to fuck, that's fine. But I'm talking about a woman who's walking the streets, and they go, I love having five different dicks in me every week. I enjoy the difference of a dick. With a, por- with a porn star, you don't hear with that. a porn star do scenes that. for free. Would they just do it for free? No, wait. Why would you just want to? Exactly, but that's the no. point. That's but why, why not? Be a porn star. But that's the point. But you the... said that you enjoy this level of fucking variety thing. No, I enjoy having extreme, like the whenever you have sex with someone that you're in love with, it takes it to a complete different the, level, and to the point though. to a, a such a level where you you want to be scratched on your back and they're scratching you. You want to be bit on your neck and then they have you like, they have you pinned down. Choked. Yeah. Never you're done. talking about Choked quality, but I'm talking about I'm ta- quantity. You was talking, about, talking quantity about quantity before. Intimate, I, I would rather intense, have some serious, that's intimate. intense, that's, like hot You'd rather hour. be with one guy, which I brought up before, but she disputed. One guy, one girl at the same time if it was up to me, but you know. You would rather be with one person at the But it still would be an intimate, it would be hold an on, intimate Hold on, thing. Reggie, hold on, man. Would you rather be with one person that you cared about and fuck that person? Yeah, if I cared about them, definitely. So 100%. why before when I said that you said I like variety? Because I, I know, there's, I definitely like variety. I like all types, just like every single person. You're out contradicting there. yourself, I'm not, Pam. I like all different types. What is that a contradiction of? I, I, in every week, single person. So do you week, like having? I have, I have ha- been bad. Yes, I've been very bad. So do and you enjoy being bad? So do you naughty. enjoy being bad, or do you enjoy being with somebody that you care about? And fuck them. I it's the enjoy best sex. Both. Everybody would rather be it. with somebody that they love, the but not everyone has sex. that. Yeah, of course. The best and if sex you don't is have intimate, that, loving sex. Who would doubt, you rather be with? Hold on, Jeff. Yeah. Now, are you saying that dudes can be with a woman that they love, but also fuck other women, and still love the woman they love? Absolutely. And yeah. be happy. Yeah. Have I don't know about no being happy. Jeff, I think it wears you down. You, would you be that happy? Way. Put it this way. All right, ready? Let's make this scenario. No lying. It's like yeah. your girl, she goes, hey, I love you, baby. And she's like, I love you, too. And the fact that I love you, sweetie puss, you can go out and fuck any bitch you want. Just wear a condom. Could you do that as a man and stay happy? So you don't have to go out and it's not even cheating on your girl. It's basically she understands that you want a, some different pussy and lets you go do that. Could you be happy if that was placed in your life where you go, I love you, Jeff, but go get different pussy if you want, and I'm still loving you, and you still can fuck me. Would that be fine with you? I don't think I want that anymore. There was Jeff, a time yes when I would. yes or no, nigga. <laughs> I don't think I'd be happy, to be honest with you. Why wouldn't you? Look at Danny with his real face. How come, how come you tell me to take um, calls, Danny, but you won't talk to Jeff about his fucking bullshit? <laughs> Well, because now we have a topic. No, uh, because... You know, <laughs> Hold on. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Mike. Mike, what's up, man? Yo. What's up? Patricia, the man. Thank you. Well, Yo, no, I'm not the man. I, I go on man. too long, and I am a bitter asshole, according to some people in the room. No, you are the Dude, man. You forget just... About it, forget about it. Yeah, you thanks get the a lot. Thank you. Go ahead. All right. Easy explanation. Hmm. Men want to fuck... Every chick out there, because we're supposed to spread our seed. We can nut how many different times a day, okay? A woman wants one man because she wants someone who can give her a child and then take care of her and the child throughout all the bullshit. Is that Simple true, Pam? Nature, man. It, it, he's absolutely right. Yes. He is. He definitely that, is. Instinctually, I mean, that's, that's the case. It's, it's simple survival of the fittest. Yep. You need Which to is... get as much variation in children and offspring as possible. And a woman wants someone who's going to be able to, you take it back 100 years, hunter-gatherer. They're yeah. not going to be able to go looking for food when they're taking care of a child in their womb. They need someone to do that. Still today, same instinct. But it's also survival of the, spe- of the, the species. It's survival of the fittest first, survival of the species second. And who's thinking that? 
Absolutely. It, but it's, uh, you're not thinking it on a cognitive level. But, but this is but this is what he's saying. Thank you, man, for calling. This is why I haven't. This is why I forgave my father for never meeting me. I've never met my father, and I think to myself, why the fuck? How could a man have a kid and not mm. be with that kid? Mm -hmm. I understood why. You did. Because I jerk off. Because my part of the bargain doesn't His. mean shit to me. In you or on you. It doesn't matter. Our part of the bargain is not special to us. That's how, because I'm just a nut. He, he didn't love my mother. He, I was a nut. That's how I know why a guy, and I'm not saying I would do that, but I can understand how a man could get a woman pregnant and never have a connection See, to I that child. See, and I can't child. understand that at all. Have, I, could do never, you, I could never understand have that. Have you jerked off before? Yeah, so. That Each right one of there, those sperm is a child. That's huh? life. And that's what you thought of life. Mm -mm. Do you come in every woman that you have sex with? No. You never. are wasting life. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think if, what are you if doing? a guy, I think if a guy has a child that he, that's it's his so responsibility. No, 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 Jeff, you're, that, you're, you're that moving on. That is why on. there are so you're many degenerate on. children well, out there because no, of fathers like yours. Yes. And then, and then, it, then, then yeah. the increasing of the procreation happens, and look at you. Yes. Maybe that's what First of all, I think it was very honest of you to say that about 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 your father because that's a hard thing to say, yeah, and you hard. obviously had to work through that in order to get to the point where you could talk but about it. But what I'm asking you is, and I think, have you have you tried to have a child? Every time you came, of course not. So, but your I, part of the bargain is being wasted. Your part of life, you're not attached to. I don't think so. But if I had a child and I do have children, Jeff, what? You're moving on. I'm not going to let you do this. <laughs> I asked no, you. No, because your question is stuck in, in sperm. I don't care about sperm. <laughs> well, sperm that's is what, not, I'm not raising sperm. But wait a minute. I'm when the saying, sperm hits the egg, then it's your oh, responsibility. So, so you're saying that a yeah. fertilized child is, that's what counts? No, when a child is born and there's a father there, I think the father what do you has think, the, what do you has think the about obligation. Sperm itself? What do you think about sperm itself? It's delicious. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so that sperm means not nothing. Pamela. Not to me. <laughs> Not to me. So, but that, that, so that's what the I'm saying. The possibility that it's because a, a sperm on its own is not a baby. And it's a sperm an with egg. an egg. But, an egg I'm, by saying, itself but is I'm not saying, a baby. I'm trying to say that here's the difference between men and women. I could either make a child with a woman with my sperm, mm -hmm. or put it on a sock, or her belly button, <laughs> or on a, on her temple. Right. Or at the corner of her <laughs> nose. <laughs> uh, just dri by dripping. By a, little drip, by a, little, by a little dribble. There little is dribble, no... Yeah. This is why women are fighting nature on a regular basis and they're losing. There is no activity where women just waste eggs. There's no activity <laughs> where a woman goes, ah, whoa, look at no, those legs. Look at all those I'm eggs. On, look at eggs a, don't shoot eggs all over the look place. Look at those babies on a sock. Do you know and that like, women are born... Life is precious to women. Women are born with all the eggs they're ever going to have, man. It's there already That's when they're point. born. This is the point of why they constantly are trying, i.e. Pam, but also other women, are constantly trying to gangster up the same way men are gangstered up. When I shoot my sperm, there's nothing in me going, oh my God, that could have been a... That could have been a scientist. Of that course not. That motherfucker just is gone. Well, who's, yeah, who's saying, of course not. Nobody thinks that. But that's because we talking don't about have to. But women a bigger to. picture. There's a bigger picture there. You, you said, you brought up the concept that, uh, that, that your father, that you never met your dad. Okay? I can understand why. Meaning, I can understand why if I fuck a girl and I'm like, oh, woo, I thought I got all of what I needed on her stomach, which I thought all my sperm was dead. <laughs> Some got in a vagina and uh. then created a baby. And I'm not saying that I would do that, but I'm right. saying I can understand where a guy goes, Eesh, well, I don't give a fuck. That's just a big I, sperm to I me. With a, <laughs> who a talks big, now? <laughs> talking sperm. I don't I'm think. just a big talking sperm to my dad. That's all the fuck I was. I don't think so. And I don't think your mom felt that way either. No, my and mother got, didn't thank, feel that I'm, way. I'm, she felt that way about him. Well, thank God for your mother. You I'm should have more God. respect for women. Yeah, because... I love my mother. My, my mother doesn't count. She's not a woman. She's my mother. <sighs> no, but it's a much bigger picture than she's that, a woman. Man. I tell you what, my mother's a woman to other guys. I guarantee if I had a conversation with any boyfriends my mother had, be uh, he'd be like, man, she's an asshole. Because she's a woman to them. She's just mom to me. 
But I know my mother's hardcore. But I'm saying is if she didn't have feelings for the guy that made her pregnant, you might not be here right it, now. It, I don't <laughs> think it matters. I think the fact that women love their eggs so much that it doesn't even matter. That's why you never hear, if you ever see shows, you never see a father searching for his kid. You always see like a woman who puts a kid up for adoption or something, yeah. and then she thirty years later they go. Yeah. <laughs> I actually know somebody that because there's no if closer I, bond than a woman and a child because it comes from you your body. You there's there's no closer bond. Let me take another call, man. Let me take a quick call. Uh, who the fuck is this? Tim. Hey Tim, how are you, man? Yo, I'm doing good. How are you? So, go ahead, man. Hey Patrice. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Hey, great, great, timeless conversation here, man. Thank you, you know, sir. Uh, <laughs> Timeless. Thank you so much for Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. <laughs> Go ahead. That's funny. Timeless conversation. <laughs> Danny's like, move on. Just shot on Go Tim. Ahead. Go ahead, man. Sorry, Tim. Go ahead. Oh, no, it's great. It's great because, I mean, both of you are on, on two, I mean, separate islands here. You know, one is the, the provider mentality. You have Patrice and the, the Israeli, Israelite, excuse me. And then Jeffrey, the lover. And, uh, and both of you guys are right. I mean, you're right. You're absolutely right about what you're saying. That's your view on the world. You are right. You're absolutely right. But what, I mean, what is your point of view? My point of view is this. Well, you know, the, the, the feminist movement that came in there, and it was a great thing for women and all that. But it, it, it definitely, uh, you know. It went overboard. Long run, <laughs> it was overboard. We, we let them talk in the deal. I don't, <laughs> I don't mind them voting. You've met, you've met, I know you've met, like, women who are captains of the industry who are very successful. Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've met some boss bitches. Like, Oprah's a boss, but still, I wouldn't look at Oprah and she's not cool to me. Like, I, like the shit that makes, like, a male Oprah would be the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Yeah. A billionaire bachelor, billionaire black bachelor who builds schools in Africa and, and has no wife. That's uh, that's the baddest motherfucker in the world. But a woman who does that is I, it's like who gives a fuck? Oprah or the bitch that works in McDonald's? They're the same. Oprah's thing. still a, Oprah's I, Oprah's still a chick. There was a I, I, there was this one where she bought her her puppies. And Thanks for calling, dude. Stedman was with her when she bought the puppies. She said, "Oh, I want them all." And Stedman goes, "No, yeah, one, just one." I, I and yeah. and so she's still a chick. And even with the billion, with the billion, I still say this to know if you look, if you look at Inquire, I like reading Inquire and shit. Mm -hmm. Look at a Google a picture of Oprah. Not not now, Danny, but in, in your own time, Google a picture of Oprah and Stedman. Mm -hmm. Right. And look at their pictures and look at how she always looks like she's in the picture with Stedman. Stedman always looks like he, they're dude. taking a picture of him, and this chick is with him. Look at that picture. <laughs> every he's picture. A, he's a, a commanding presence. She's still a chick. And every picture of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, she he looks like he's in the picture with her. With her. With, he's carrying African he's babies, still a dude. and he's sweating, his hat's <laughs> he's crooked, still a dude. and this right. bitch is like, right. hello, world, I run right. shit. It's pathetic, yeah. but that's how they want us to be for a certain time. That's to me. They're abusive, and they have so many different angles of making you let them abuse you with the "I'm a victim, you're attacking me," or "I have babies," or "You're just, you're just not in touch with your man." It's all these different angles they have to make you surrender how the fuck you feel. I'm not gonna do it. They're, but they're, you, but so listen, deep. why did you let that go, that topic that you brought up before about men walking away from children? I want to hear about that because I want to know if you, think, if you think that that's appropriate. Dude, you think, did you hear me twice, Jeff? What? Say that I, just I wouldn't understand do that. It. You wouldn't do it. Okay. I understand. But, just but like you can abortion. understand it. Just like abortion. Here's yeah. my view on abortion. But I don't give a fuck. I just don't think women should be saying it's my body. Okay, but expound the point. Why wouldn't body. you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? Because that's my personal thing. I just, I no, just can't. Why wouldn't you walk away from a child? I don't know. I think it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, okay, that's personally. what I wanted to hear you say that you feel it's personally wrong yeah, because per people look up to you. I wouldn't want guys hearing oh, that. Oh, 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 Jeff. What? Twice. <laughs> I said I don't believe in that, Jeff. No, I know, so but I wanted to hear twice why. Twice you didn't listen. I, I, no, I heard it. I heard it, but it, I wanted to hear you actually say because you think it's wrong. Why? I don't know why you wouldn't do it. No, he wanted to no, know why. Because, he said, why no, he because you've asked me to expound on something that I don't. said. 
I do. You keep magically leaving it. No, I don't. And I just was honest no, you with you. You know why? Because this is a big problem. It's a real big problem about guys having kids and walking away. There's too it's many kids problem. growing up. I didn't say. Well, you know what? No, the, I'm not saying you and said it. And here's the thing. I'm here's not my, saying you said it. I want to say it to your audience. Here's my point. That I think men have a responsibility if they have a kid to stay with that kid. Jeff, shut the fuck. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> what I'm saying is, in terms of that wasn't personal to get into that. It was saying why women things why things naturally happen to women that they fight. They try to be like us. But my point was that women naturally are attached to the love of a child. Mm -hmm. Men are not naturally attached to the love of a child. My girl has a kid. That's not my kid. Mm -hmm. When I first met the kid, I'm like, hey, kid. Hey. <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't well, treat I, the kids bad. That. I can't hey, understand. other yeah. guys' balls. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh right. But <laughs> as I'm as I'm growing, as this child is around me, you see her do things that are like emulate me or she even be she becomes your kid. Even grows mm -hmm. just watching her develop. Yeah. You go, wow! I love this kid. This kid is lovable. Right. You 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 attach yourself. Mm -hmm. But in terms of Sperm from sperm to a month. I, my point is, I can understand how a guy could not see his kid. Now, I don't agree with that. I'm saying in terms of abortion. I want to, Patrice, I, I want to ask you a question. To me, you can kill the baby if you fucking want to. But I'm saying, I don't want to hear you tell me that it's your child. It's not your child, your body. It's not your body. It's the baby's body. It, I, I, there's no excuse for a woman or a man to have a kid that they don't want, uh, unless rape, of course. That, that's, that's my personal, like, uh, you know, consolation. Stance. Stance <laughs> but I'm saying that when women go, uh, this, I can do what I want and I, it's like, you know, you can't. But you can, bitch. I don't give a fuck. But please, it's not your baby. You're not special not just because. It's not your body. You're not special just because God made you the apartment building for the kid. <laughs> no, but so you're saying that women can have an abortion if they want. If they fucking want. Yeah, of course. But my yeah. viewpoint is like, I don't look at you like you're special because it, because the, it's the baby's body to me. It's not your body. But kill it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I'm saying, so I'm saying that my, my father, no, I, I understand him. how he could not have met me because of what sperm is, what his end of the bargain is but on you, it. You well, need to understand that. Jeff, the See, his, that's his, important. But it's I important. do. Well, and it's good that you did. I, I'm saying that was an important process for you as a human being to understand that. If right. you didn't understand that, it would plague you for the rest of your life. You, 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 it's have important a, to come you ultimately to grips with have him. this cognitive thing. You have love, emotion, responsibility on a cognitive <laughs> level, but you still have this instinctual thing where you want to procreate, where you want women, where you have a desire for more women, where a woman had... Th so we're, I mean, as, I, I as know human we beings, I, we're as trying human to beings, balance those that's both what makes at us the same time. We, that's what makes us think we're better, because we have consciousness and we believe in God and we believe in good and evil but for the most part if you watch any and i'm not trying to digress us into animals but right. if you watch any animal show any there's not one alpha male, male alpha animal male nails, that stays nails everybody. with a bitch except for maybe a killer whale penguins and secondly <laughs> human women i mean human animals the woman animal humans are the only animal that loves their fucking kids for the rest of their goddamn life Except for maybe an elephant. Other than that, you you. Well, that's because baby elephants are so cute. You yeah, can't you help just but not, you can't help women, but love them. You got it. Now you got this. Women, later. women love. They're born to love. They're not born to be gangster. They're not born to walk around and go fuck me any guy who can figure out the code to my pussy. <laughs> it's like that doesn't exist. That's they're copying that's us. The, but that's the when they do that, level. and we're copying them when we're coochie coo. Yeah. We're copying them. When we go, I love you, booby, booby. That ain't even our game in reality. And their game is not being us. They they copy, oh, shit, he can fuck mad women. Oh, shit, he, he can do that and not give a fuck. But they have to practice that. I can get strange pussy and go, thank you, and shake the bitch's hand. <laughs> right. And go, good day, <laughs> ma'am. And go back to your girl. And call her tomorrow. And, no, and never think twice about it. We're going to take a break. We'll be back as I'm going to curse Danny out, too, again. On the Black Phillips Show, Patrice O'Neill gets to the bottom of those tough relationship issues. Who had the herpes? It's Black Phillip.
with Patrice O'Neill. Oh, I hate this song. <laughs> this is the hotness. Gotta play something coming back into break. Of course. Shy lights. Why not? Why would you play Shy Lights? As soon as, as, soon as I'm gone, Danny. <laughs> He's going crazy. Ass nigga, man. Danny's a sucker. I didn't pick it. It's just I take a piss and yeah. here we go with la la la. You, you have an ass. You know, it's the juxtaposition that, <laughs> that makes all of this. Danny, this is this is why the show can't be every sixteen months. Cause your instinct is to go back into pussy mode. Turn this shit off. <laughs> Bitch, better have my money. <laughs> and we can't start the show all over again. <laughs> no, you know, but, you didn't even introduce. I, you know what, man? And... That's what kills me, man. I think most people that listen to this show, if you've never heard it before, you probably left. It's and if you listen to it all the time, you you still there, and you just know it's whatever. Ele- it's eleven oh seven. You can still introduce everybody. You can introduce if you want. everybody. Uh, well, please. we I'll do it real quick. We have um. Well, Jeff went to the bathroom, but we have Jeff's um. D- we don't have any titles. <laughs> Jeff's Jacqueline. Jeff's Jeff, Jacqueline. We have no- she's just a magical figure that <laughs> she's a unicorn. Walks through Earth. That's very Soho. Uh, it's uni- Jacqueline. Jacqueline, beautiful the woman. Um, that um, she's magical too, but she's this, a bunny. She's just oh, come here, Jacqueline. Come here. No, no. You don't like salt. Don't get your salt free. <laughs> salt free shit. You okay, Jacqueline? Let me tickle you. Yes. Oh, you're mm. so sweet. Look at magical. <laughs> just, so just so Jacqueline. This, I don't. There's no title. She's a, a friend of Jeff's. I don't. The title mm. doesn't. I, Titles don't no matter. Title. Titles don't matter. There is the lovely, delicious, d- delicious. I would say, Pamela. What's your last Page. name? Page. Pamela Page. Who has? left us i like this mm. i like the fact that she her body language is different her face is different she has an evil streak she's looking down I think everybody does of course and i like that she came she's in here sexy. with a horse shit sexy. personality really now sexy. the she's real jacqueline the vindictive the mean don't fuck with me attitude <laughs> i like it the that one that sexy. all the other go-go dancers don't fuck with in the back. Uh-oh, Jacqueline got they a don't. baby knife. She'll Pamela. pull it right. She'll put. Oh, Pam. Pam will pull a baby knife out of her asshole and stick it and put it back in. I love that. Uh, I'm not you. scared of no girls like that. She's up my alley. <laughs> Give me them two baseball bats. <laughs> boop, boop. Ah, I like that. She is a. Uh, I'm a creative writer. She's a creative writer. What else are you? Performance Perform- art. Performing. I'm mm. a contortionist. I can really? do flips. Really? She can really? bend herself in different ways to yes. make me see her pussy better. <laughs> she can tie herself in a pussy knot. <laughs> I could also squeeze your head right off with my thighs. Mm, mm. Delicious. I've mm. had it done many times. <laughs> and so you're I still passed out. Able to talk. <laughs> <laughs> you never had till you had a third world hooker squish your head in between her legs. <laughs> you Slams haven't lived. <laughs> but Jack, J- do you Jack, take off your hat to that? By the way, why do I keep saying Jacqueline? She <laughs> has me mem- mesmerized. I I introduced Jacqueline while you was in the bathroom. Yes, okay. I, oh Jesus, we have to move to the to all time fantastic, amazing. We're gonna oh, get to to yeah. drizzles, but we have fucking Jeff. Turn that that camera on you for a second, Jeff. Okay. Je- we have. <sighs> Jeffrey Gurian, man, who is, I would call him a haberdasher. I would call him a man of leisure. I would call him a a fellow pimp, pimp nippian. Pimp nippian. Pimp nippian. Pimpologist. But it's, he's a nice pimp. He's a he wears soft gloves he's when a he kind pimp. He's a kind pimp. He wears mittens. Listen, he wears mittens you, on the slabs of bitch. You, you can you can, with mittens. you can owe me this week. But next week, just make sure you have, you know, <laughs> just work Stop a little harder, Do dear. I need interest, Daddy? No, 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 just what you owe. <laughs> Matter of fact, keep a little for yourself. Yeah. And I'm not going to call you a bitch because that belittles you, ho. Yeah. So I'm just going to... want to bring up your self-esteem. I'm, he's I want to hold with self-esteem. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a pimp with, with care. Now, uh, we, we already Jacqueline. Him and Jacqueline are... Mm. Together. Together. Now, he says something that I'm not going to digress, but he said something earlier about guys that come up to you and say, wow, she's beautiful. I just wanted to also say that looking at Jeff, if you didn't have the knowledge, if I was 20 and not 38, 
I would go up to Jacqueline and go, what's up? That means you with this little motherfucker. Come on, baby. Look at me. I'm better looking. That's why guys would do that a lot. That's guys. When I was younger, it was all about, and that's how I felt about myself. That was a low self-esteem thing, which is, oh, he's better looking, so she'll be with him because he's better looking. That's how I thought then. I don't think that anymore. So I understand, but that's where you would go. Guys would come up to him and go, "Ooh, you were oh, ha!" <laughs> and they think they might be able to beat your ass too. <laughs> uh, men try to diminish each other. That's yes. the point. No men ball try power. To, men try to bring each other down because they're pissed that you're with a woman that they would like to be with. Absolutely. So we get to you and Jacqueline, friends. Don't even know how to make the title. <laughs> don't know if you fuck. Don't know if you talk i don't know what you guys do <laughs> you just sit okay. around and, and hum. that's okay so what you hum, guys do right? we, we sway do it fucking and sway, right? uh, uh the the lovely pam that that we've got to know um i know a few things about her she's lonely um maybe she not. gets some dick maybe yeah. not she gets some dick maybe not. but I she's keep myself entertained she mm. she doesn't have a challenge in her life i can mm. tell i can tell that's me. Because I like to but control and defeat wrong. everything. That's why. Yeah. Yes, but now she's like, she's Me's just a alpha. little, she's a little lesser than when she was. I like it. Lesser. But she's still, but she's still. Still feisty. She's feisty. Still got feisty. Got feisty. Still got which in, in terms of my army, which is good. <laughs> I need my underlings <laughs> to subscribe <laughs> to my idea. And you go fight for daddy. I need that fight, <laughs> but I need it for daddy. Not against daddy. For the, daddy. Like I tell my my girl, fight against them, don't fight against me. I'm mm. your motherfucking man. I'm your boy. Mm. So we just have to get young Pam to fucking just fight for me. I would be on your team, and then I would keep quiet and let you be over boisterous towards whoever else you want to sabotage, and then I would slowly slip in and take over your whole entire team and control your world or what you thought was your world. Yeah, my bitch said that, too. So, um, <laughs> we move on to... <laughs> <laughs> my bitch tried that, too. She, she, she's still doing it. Well, I don't know. Good, good, I'd like you to give it a shot. And, and we get down like that, too. I'd like to show you a picture of it. Maybe we can all... I just... There it and I'm not one of those guys who try to direct. I'll just... Maybe a little... Uh, uh, a wet a little finger on the booty hole and just... <laughs> and just rub it real fast left and right on the booty hole. And nothing, 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 you know. My girl would like you. are a pretty woman. Um, And we have... The amazing... The young, talented... Pimped out because it's pimp season. That's right. <laughs> Nigga got his motherfucking jacket on, his, his suit jacket, his, his dope ass fucking shirt with his brim. chain. Motherfucker's hands all trimmed up. Got his brimmed up hat. Got his pimp shoes. He's pimped out. The young Drew Boogie. And I promise Drew, I want him to do a uh, mid level report on what he's been hearing because no one's listening. He, he got a chance to talk the whole show. Yeah. So do me a favor, <clears throat> young Drew. Give you a synopsis of what's been going on in this show. All right. We respect that. So far from the beginning of the show, we found out that our new friend Pamela Page is uh, sick. And she uh, she she might be terminal. I think no, she's, she's not terminal. Oh, you so. said she's not terminal. I think she she's I thought she might have been terminal, but she's actually just chronic <laughs> and and maybe a little critical. But now she's been upgraded to stable. <laughs> oh, okay. Table's good. We also found out that uh, she tried to turn it around on you to make her look like a victim. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for noticing that. Yes. She kicked me in front of the vehicle, yes. And uh, let's see. Um, oh, we talked about so many things today. And what I never asked you, what is, in terms of all of our viewpoints, Dante's me, Jeff, What what is your viewpoint on, where, where would you say you intrinsically lie in terms of your thought process? Uh, which part of the of the meaning of who the game? Do, who do you connect to with whose attitude? Do the you philosophy? To? If you was listening at home, I'm I'm in between you and Dante. I, I more uh go for between the bear and the deer. Like what, what what's the what's the um so what's what the mean? What do you mean? It's bear, deer, and then bunnies. Bunnies. Right? Yeah. Like Jeffrey's a bunny getter because bunnies to have a bunny, you have to actually catch him, coddle, hold him. And feed them out of your hand, nice. and they Squish still them. don't trust you. Right. <laughs> but they're under your control, so you have to actually show a bunny that you will never try to control it, and as you're actually controlling it. 
Yeah, I, I, I'm between you and Dante. You're a, because he's a wolf hunter. A deer, <laughs> a deer hunter has to gain access to the trust without touching. Meaning, hey, how are you? Hey, would you like a sandwich? <gasps> No, hey, no, no, don't run. I don't. I just have a little sandwich. I'll take a bite. Let you know it's not poison. You know, and then they and then they eat out your hand. But you never can make that move. I got you. Right. Cause then they run again. So you gotta always. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm nowhere near Jeff as far as the, his approach. I'm 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 more <laughs> now, well, bear hunter you guys. Is <laughs> exactly. <laughs> really yes. bear? How about this? Boom! Pow! 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 In the face. I'm more and then the bear yeah. laying down, and you go ah. Now Drew, was it worth it, bear, to get fucked up? <laughs> Drew, <laughs> hey, Drew, Drew is a Drew's a wolf hunter. He's a wolf. He hunts wolf. Nah, I think Drew is. Drew, here's what I think. Drew is catches lovely bears. He catches <laughs> nice bears. Bears that aren't mean. I'm a grizzly bear hunter, mm. and you're a deer hunter, and I think he would love to be a bear hunter. Mm. But that's not his game. His yeah. game is not saying shut up, bitch. His game is he can catch it. feeling shut up, bitch. But bagging, like doing your thing. How about, him, how about catching a, a wolf in a bear trap? Here's what he is. Ready? <laughs> Ready? If a deer is drinking water, Drew will go. Drew will go. What? Don't run, you stupid deer. <laughs> what the fuck you running for? I ain't going to hurt you, as opposed to you, where you go, here you go, here you go, here, no, no, it's just gummy bears. He'll go, listen, I got gummy bears, the shit ain't poison. That's Stop. Yeah. So he's hunting deer with a bear technique. <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't say shut up, bitch. I would say you, you stop stuttering. You know that that type of thing. Like, look, this ain't poison. But you'll go. Let me not try. Let me try. Look it. See, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Look, and Jacqueline is come here. Come, come close, close. I'm not. No, do you see? I'm not touching your bunny booty. <laughs> I'm just a sparrow. I'm she's just a sparrow. Running. And she's a bear. Pam was a bear. I, 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 would, I would go for one of... Mm, here's the pussy approach. I would go more for your mm, approach. Mm. Yeah. Not your approach, but no. Look how, look how passionate she just got. Because she knows. <laughs> no. She knows. I'll snatch because she... Rawr, and I'll say, shut the fuck up. And she'll go... And we'll fight. And then the bear would rip off your esophagus and chew it in front of your face. And she'll be... This is what she'll do. She'll be like, oh my God. He, he beat me in a fight. Then she becomes a deer. She'll become less aggressive. <laughs> a vanquished bear. Yes. Yeah. What stops me? What stops me from being Dante's approach is the, is the snake is the snake on the chain, that sort of thing. I I can't I can't do the snake on the chain and all the exotic type of stuff. I have to be straight up. But I admire that. It's righteous. And I think any it other is any other synopsis you got for the show today? Any other? Oh, we went so fast. I'm trying to remember. We got, yeah, we got 11 20 already. we got yeah. thrown in so many different directions i tell you I why because the lovely i think i might do you live in new york right around the corner from you guys from the st st mm -hmm. studio i think we might have her for any other black phillips shows if there's ever another black phillips show because mm -hmm. you, know, you don't even know i i would like her to be the regular yeah i, I would like it. to see her de development mm -hmm. I would like her to be the regular as well. I like to see her development if she would come down. I would love to see her again. I would love for you to torture me more on a daily basis. <laughs> Do you hear that? See how? I see love how fucking hate it. See how it slowly gets like, mm, mm. see that? See how, how sexy that is? See how it takes? Right. Oh, I can do this forever. I just remembered something else. It was very important for this show mm -hmm. that um, we have to realize that we, you don't take a lot of calls. This is an educational show, not necessarily Now, is that your view? Is that your viewpoint? Uh, what do you think? Be honest. Because I want to take more calls, but sometimes... No, look, we talked about this a while ago. This, if we did this every week, and this is what I'm saying to Danny, of course. Now, I might as well introduce Danny. Everybody knows Danny from O&A and, and, and things and the Black Phillips Show and the many other Saturday night horseshit shows that come on. <laughs> I'm not saying they all are, but... Hey, today we're talking about what's the greatest shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. Tell us to move on and niggas is talking about shoelaces. But um No, because the, the But they the, had they were talking at least they were they were talking about shoelaces. They had a topic. What you so you're saying we didn't have a topic? <laughs> For a while it was just fucking It was just what? No, no, no. See, no. there's a ton. I was of, trying to find a topic. There's a ton of philosophy going on, and it is riveting when you're listening to it. If you want 
to improve yourself. If you don't want to, you're going to tune out. It, like you. Some people just can't catch it all. And we see that Danny, now that he's with XOXO Baby Girl, uh-huh. he doesn't want to improve himself anymore. Back when he was with Stinky Cat Girl, he's like, help, <laughs> help us all. But now he's with Wonderful Cool Girl, no. and all of a sudden, Mr. Coochie Coo, does it. we don't have a purpose. Go fuck yourself. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> yes, well, I'm saying that's what you said. <laughs> a lot of times the calls Hey, James, are how are you? I should listen to Danny? Yeah, you should listen to <laughs> agrees with uh, yeah but see look see what he's saying that here we'll take his call first okay go agrees with danny let's go chris virginia yeah go ahead it's hey cool. patrice don't try to talk to me with this calm thing so i don't hang up on you be very careful with your words uh, you agree with danny i should what no, nah, not so much agree with Danny. Okay, what I was man. calling to say was that there's still just a lot of guys out of here who are hurting. And Oh, I see I what you're saying. Yeah, I you know what? I, I bought enough. into the bullshit from women. I mean, I've got two drawers of letters from different girls. You're the best. You're the only one. I could never be with anybody else. And fucking, you know, when the going's not good, they just fucking take off. It, it's, you're right. When women try to abuse you and always try to pull the loser card on you to make sure that you're not really a loser. All right, let me ask you this, because if we want to go back to the old school show, because I see that as like, hey, get back to the old show because he's hurting. See, this he is sounds what, like he's about to cry, man. Yeah, yeah, but see, but see how you go. Now he I sounds said, like yeah. he's about to cry, man. There but I'm actually feeling bad for him. This is like this guy is like really breaking his heart out. Why wow, you us sound so I empathetic, have, motherfucker? I have. You I fucking have hate men anyway. With him because everyone's had their heart broken. You to some let me degree. tell you something. I don't. It, I don't want. I want to make sure this is specific because I don't know. <laughs> this is go this go a go go and strip are different things, right? Completely different. But how about the the hatred of men? Are they the same in terms of those? Yeah. Um, so no, what, I think strippers well, have go, more go, hatred of men. Yeah, strippers Definitely. have more hatred. You like, have to. When I, I do the more like per, you know burlesque dancing, so I might. When, when, I'm, when I'm in a strip I club, I anything. hate men. But it's still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can only imagine a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's what here's what I'm saying to you, Chris, and this this is this is why. I tried to get a little bit away from, like, just everybody's problem. I started trying to talk a little more about things in general that might apply to you because I think we've discussed many times without you having to call in that this drawer full of women that's saying you're the best and you're this and you're that, you got to understand, dude, that we've already covered that in terms of this, in terms of... It's your fucking fault. That's right. This right. is this is what they do. Like I said, I have some fish. I have I have a I have a tank cichlids. full of fish. I have some cichlids. Great fish. Every day I come downstairs, right? The Ch- mo- those fish. Chicklets? <clears throat> cichlids. Oh. <laughs> so every time I come through downstairs, those motherfuckers swim to the side of the tank and go, "Yes, we getting ready to eat." That's the nigga that feeds me. And I feed them, and then I try to, like, maybe put my finger in the water to touch one. They go, ah! There's a nigga trying to touch me! <laughs> <laughs> that is what they do. So I have to learn how to coexist with what they are, with what I get out of them. So you have to learn how to get out of what you want out of a woman and let them be them because they are them without maliciousness they live their life natural like pam coming in there's no malicious bone in pam's body she does what she does now if i allow her to do what she does in my presence that's my fault because it trickles down from you chris they gonna write look my girl on tuesday Says, you you always doing fucked up shit. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> On Wednesday, we give a good fuck, and she's like, "You fuck me like I was some new girl. I love you. So, are you okay? You need your back, bro." <laughs> if I paid attention to my happiness based on this fucking loon. <laughs> How could I be happy? You can't base your happiness, Chris, 
on fucking girls and their love letters. That's, 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 that's they're like fish. It wasn't just the letters. That, that was my mistake. Was I bought in to the bullshit that the, 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 the guys get from a very early age. And I believe the, the idea that you should give and listen to women like that other tantric um, incense sniffing motherfucker who's there on the <laughs> Wow. I think he's talking about Dante, you know? It must be. It must be, be Dante. Dante. It be. Be. <laughs> must be Dante. Wait right? a minute. I got to ask Chris, Chris a question. Did you did you, did you you pick up on anything? There was a lot of shit that was talked about on the show today. Did you pick up on anything that that uh, uh, that was talked about today on the show? Did sure. You uh, did, did you understand the philosophy, what's going on? Did you listen? Absolutely. You know what a, I'm lot do? It, a lot of it can be applied to, to his situation. You know situation. what I'm going to do? we got to no, figure it, this out. We're can. figuring this out right now. Hey, hey, hey Chris, don't kill yourself. Uh, keep keep going with the show. We're going to figure this out, man. Thanks for calling. Listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure out what the right thing is. Because before, before uh, Danny, while he's doodling. No, I'm listening. I'm before, it was a lot of calls that were just... Hey man, what's the best way to eat pussy? We know we're feeling it out. Yeah, yeah. We got too much knowledge Nonsense. between yeah. us that yeah. you, too much knowledge between everybody that we will just go. Here's how you eat pussy. Damn. Plus Jeff wouldn't do it. I think that's so. Uh, no, you don't want to devolve to that. You to, got important uh, shit to say, man. You got you <laughs> have stuff to say. I think the way I eat pussy should be discussed <laughs> through spiritual. <laughs> What's your pussy eating technique? With a bib. I put on a bib. <laughs> you need a bib if you're doing it right. And I'm fucking I, neat, bro. I, I, what are you I'm going to get all messed up? This is, once, this XM, once this XM series thing happens and we figure out all this, like if we can get a weekly show, we're going to figure this out. Because you got to understand, I come back two months with a lot of anger, with a lot of shit. I just want to talk about everything. Pent up. I think... Once we get a weekly thing, if that ever happens, then we can get into exactly the brand that we're going to get into. Plus, Jeff is new. Jeff is going to be here from now on whenever we have shows. Jeff is part of the show now. Mm. You understand? Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this is uh, Pamela Page. This bitch. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> what's the name? <laughs> Call her, what's her name? Um, yeah. She'll be part, and of course the lovely drag one. Just need drag one. So, it, there's a there's a lot of shit that we're trying to figure out during the show, and I don't. I know there's a lot of men that have problems, but you got to understand, dude. Every philosophy in here is based on having problems with women. It's not based on here's how you get. I don't give advice on how to pick up girls. I don't. I ain't know how to pick up girls. I know how to stay happy. I know that my girl's tears mean my smiles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know. My bitch the other day got a nice cry. You know what I mean? Got a nice cry because she came out. I we was watching Curb Your Enthusiasm, mm -hmm. and I go. Uh, she goes, "Wow, his his wife really rides with him. His wife really." That's him. And I go, and she, and she goes, oh, yeah, I back you like that. Too. I said, yeah, you do, sweetie. And then I said, but, you know, that nigga got $500 million, so it's kind of easy to back a motherfucker with half a billion. <laughs> Is that why you think I back <laughs> you? So the the whole world kind of imploded where now she's the one answer, bitch. Hey, that was funny, right? Yeah. I go, okay, in my head, fuck you, bitch. Now I'm in me zone. And I let her know she could never hate me more than I hate her. <laughs> her hatred is moment to moment like a fish. Mine is real and it will stay. And it's not in, in vindictive or spiteful. It's, it's just like, fuck you, bitch. Yeah. Let me get into me zone so I don't have to be one of these guys that say a, a thing like, every time we try to have fun, you... Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Why would I do that? When I know that's what they do, they don't know how to have fun. She's miserable. So I watched Kirby Enthusiasm by myself, and then she went to take a shower. Then she comes out, and she's like, when you coming to bed? What you doing? We did this thing like, what, what you doing? <laughs> right? Hey, what's going on? Why are you acting so stink? And I said, bitch, are you trying to get me to be phony with you? Huh? You think we're going to move on? Because you ready to fucking move on? Because you went from moment to moment, and now you're happy, bitch? 
the shower brought her to her senses is what happened. <laughs> now the water hit her. I didn't curse her out. I just had to talk Hannibal Lecter, treat the bitch like multiple Migs, if you ever seen that show, <laughs> that is talk this bitch till she die. <laughs> and she because most of the time she's gonna do something to mess up the good time. Not me. I don't go, why'd you say that? I don't want <laughs> She does it. So I tell her why, and then she goes, well, what's the point then? In f implying, why are you even with me? I said, look, I didn't say that, but if you try to think for me, we'll be broke up. So you go ahead and think for me. You think, what are we doing this for? What are we? You think for me, go ahead. See if this relationship lasts. I think for this relationship. You emotionalize through it. If I emotionalize through the relationship, then where the fuck we going to be? I'd rather you be crying because you get what you did that was dumb than I be miserable like guys do out there because they think that's what their existence has to be. And women will come at you with the gay thing. With, look, my girl tries to say my friends are gay because when she tries to always introduce, I don't know what the bitch is doing. She always tries to like... Be the bitch that informs me of something. Like she goes, did you hear it was an earthquake in China? <laughs> and I go, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't want to talk to you about it. So my boy call, you call, somebody else call. And I'm like, he goes, yo, you hear about China? And I go, hold on, let me go make some tea so we can discuss China <laughs> for hours and hours. Well, I fucking said China. T I said, well, your China shit is boring. <laughs> talk to your friends about China, bitch, not me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Well, you're probably gay. Yeah, probably so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, guess I just I'm don't want to talk to you, bitch. But that's from here. Why the fuck are women always, instead of trying to understand that we're not crazy, we're just acting a certain way that you have to understand. Like, we have to understand that you have to have children, that you have children and, what, and the pain. I don't have kids. Why should I give a fuck about that? But I do because it's visual. You have a period, that shit fucks you up, makes you hormonal, makes you emotional, and I have to understand that. There's things that go on f with guys that you don't give women a don't give a fuck because we don't bleed with our bullshit. Mm. Like, the, half the time, man cheats. You think motherfuckers want to cheat? I want to see my girl and go, you're the last bitch I'll ever, ever kiss. <laughs> you're the, Not even that, you're the last girl I ever want, want to, to want kiss. Want to kiss, right. But yeah. that's not the fucking case. Right, exactly. Because it's biology. They bro. don't understand cool. that and they don't give a fuck about that. So I got to make her understand shit. And she's like a fish. Tuesday, she loves me. Thursday, I'm the worst motherfucker ever. Saturday, she goes, oh, my God, where would I be without you? Sunday, you, you back in the day, you used to fold the blankets. Like, <laughs> why would I pay attention to her? <laughs> we gotta take another break, really? Oh. All right, we another break, and we're gonna get get to. Uh, oh shit! Wait, before we take a break, let's go to this motherfucker. Hold on, hold on, Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I'm. I'm. Go, go ahead, man. You on? Yeah, Patrice. I was just wanting to call and tell you, man, that the dynamic of the show is great. I think you're a fucking genius, but you saved my marriage because to me, like the game that you spin is fucking relationship shit. And it kind of, it even matches up with the animals y'all pick and shit. Like, you pick a bear, a bear's gonna live forever, get big as hell, hairy and shit, just like y'all lady is. But you gotta keep that motherfucker in check. But now you got Jeff over there talking about some bunnies and shit. They die quick as a motherfucker. Now, Jeff's game is to get many bitches and keep them for a short time. <laughs> You in some ah, relationship shit. Whoa, 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 Brendan. Hold, hold on, hold on. That was, wait one fucking minute here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let me, wait, let me, oh. let us breathe on that. Hold on, don't go nowhere, Brendan. I'm still trying to find out what his perspective on me is. Huh? Wait a minute, well, <laughs> dear <laughs> nigga, he's going to get to it. <laughs> but bears live a long, woo. You want to keep a bitch for but a long bunny time. die quick. Where did he go? He oh, he bailed out. Brendan. Call back. He damn. He lost his call. Son of a Brandon, bitch. Call you back. Call back. God damn it. Man, that motherfucker. That was hot. Hmm. Hmm. Can I die quick? 
Yeah. Oh, look at Six the buddy talking years. over there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, listen. As soon as you get haggard, get <laughs> out of here. This shit is. All right, <laughs> hey, look. Let's oh, take one yeah. more break. We'll be back, man. One more break. One more. Just one yeah, more. Okay, one. we'll be back. It's Black Phillip with Patrice O'Neal. It is almost better than when a guy eats your pussy. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? All right, cool. Tom. Yeah. Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, hey, uh, Patrice. How can you sit there and say and give advice? And your old man's gone, man. And then when you say something about your ma, she's off limits. No, I never, no. You I'm in the same position you are. I'm nah. a little bit older than you. She's not off limits. She's off limits. Let me tell you something. She's off limits, and I, I think I said it off air. That's why I fucked up. But I let, let me because I, I, I feel you. She she's off limits to me. She's my mother, but she's not off limits to my sister's father. Mm. If I kicked if my sister's father was here talking about my mom's, he'd be talking about it like I'm talking about my girl, or I might be talking about Pam or 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 or, or she's still Jacqueline. A woman. She's, still she's a, woman. a woman to to dudes who. Sleep with her. She's not a woman to me. She's my mother. But to other dudes, she's not off limits. If another dude's like, listen, man, your mom ain't shit. I used to go with her. I'd be like, talk right. to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm not because a hypocrite. I, you know, I lost my old man back in 1969. I never knew him. Okay. You know, he never came home. Right. You know, from from uh, 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 Vietnam. That was a long fucking time ago. Okay. Never came home, had four boys. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the same way you, you do women... I did women the same way. I used to fuck them. I used to do every fucking thing to right. them. I, it, it was like a get back or something mentally to me. You think you think mentally you was fucking a lot of girls as a anger thing to your father, not knowing your father or your father dying or something? It, it, yeah. So yeah, are you different like, now? Do you still do the same thing that you think? Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> I'm, I'm different. I got married. I got, got kids. I, and then I had all girls. All so you, girls, let me ask but, you a question. You don't. I instinctively, like you don't, you don't hate your wife. No. Like I love my girl, but I, I hate the bitch. Like I no, hate her. No, man. you know they do stupid shit, man. Thank they, they, you. You know they might, you know they might come in and, and 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 say the dumbest shit in the world. Like you might be watching the damn game. And and who's winning? Look at the fucking TV. It's up top. <laughs> All of a sudden, now, did you he did you, don't did, you know hear, he did you just hear like magical agent Orange Man? Like you know, life is a my and I change. And he's like, this dumb bitch won't. She won't bring me the cookies when I ask. It's like, look, man, I understand what you're saying. I do not. I want people to understand. I don't hate women. This is right. like I love but women. This love is women. why you I'm upset with them. You give that persona. And you know that, you know, I'm not taking nothing from women. You know, they have a lot to think about, you know. I'm talking about we, I, I could be fat, slim, or I don't give a damn about how I look. She can have one pimple on her cheek. Oh, fuck, I can't go because, out. Why? Because they, it is what it is, sir. <laughs> they are objects. We, do, we like them. Here's, if you build a building with a woman, you start with her looks. You start with her looks. You don't build with a bitch that don't look good. It, it's like they become better than their looks later. But men, we we have things that make us cool. We have things that make us. This is how I change over the years where I'm going, okay, I'm an overweight dude. And I go, I'm not going to, you know, I'm an overweight guy. And this girl's not going to like me. But I didn't realize I used to think women thought like me because I ain't <laughs> shit. Hey, hey, Patrice, it's like this to me. I have seen the ugliest guy with the yes. finest women yeah. yes. and the reason is that we control their mind when when you make yeah. love to the mind first mm -hmm. you can all the, the ass tail that don't mean she you can get her her sister because she's not gonna kill she's gonna make it now let me ask boy. you this let me ask you this since you have you have four daughters right how three. are you gonna you have how many three four. three yeah, sorry how are you gonna explain to them to be better than their vagina how are you going to tell them, look, stop 
the bullshit. If you're having problems with men and this and that, here's what I'm going to tell you how to get through this. I'm not. <laughs> See, that's gonna it's you perpetuating the cycle, let man. Go. You gotta tell let your go. daughters the you know. Anyway, thanks for the call, dude. How can you tell a girl? Listen. How can what? You're flesh and blood. You're flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. You know what men want. Me how as how man, old is your oldest? My oldest is uh fifteen years old. Oh let let me tell her. Damn. Where's she at? Put her on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell her if you can. You would. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch uh, <sighs> Brenda. Continue before I gotta go. If women wants baby, it's a, let me let me go to Greg. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to catch Brandon. Tell Brandon I'm gonna try to catch him before he go. But I'm a, Greg. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, man? Hey, um, damn. I, I'll make two quick points. You say I see this is if women wants baby, it's her problem. No, nah, uh, well, you had moved on to my it's first. It's all right, subject, man. You go yeah, ahead, man. You can you can go back. I don't give a fuck. I, 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 let me go to the baby one first. The, the other guy that was there, I don't know him. He said, he kept asking you over and over again when you said clearly, you understand your father, but you don't agree with him. Talking but then to you, he Jeffrey. said something about responsibility. But my thing is, if there's often time, he says a big problem. And he's right, it is a big problem. It's not necessarily because of the man. Um, and most men out there would tell you, when a man goes to court for child support, he gets raped. Now, That's when true. you, when, when, when a woman gets pregnant, I know a lot of situations where the guy didn't even want the baby. And she knew he didn't want the baby. Mm. So he, but she went on and had it anyway. <clears throat> I think the rules of the course does need to be changed. You know, when she went. Maybe so, what, when so, she, Jeff, no, I agree, so what do you, I agree what do you 100 think? 100% with that. No, I agree 100% with that. I was talking about uh, when a guy is married to a woman and has children oh, and just different. walks away. Yeah, that's different. Oh, no, that's uh, a whole uh, different thing. I mean, I'm not talking though, about but. a guy who's on a one night stand and the girl gets pregnant. But she has your, no business but, having but that your, baby. But what's your viewpoint on that? Like, is there any responsibility placed on the two individuals that was fucking? Yes, it is. I, the man does have a responsibility, but not to the extent that the court makes it. It's like, well, what I'm saying is, if, 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 under my rule, like, a marriage thing is totally different because, you know, like, the court looks at it like, okay, well, he has to pay this amount because we don't want to take away from what the child had. But like you said, with a one-night stand, if I'm an NBA basketball star, this stupid cheat, you know, she don't deserve millions of dollars. I can hear, I can hear in his voice. He's like, <laughs> he what if that stinking bitch? Wait a minute. He goes, what if that stinking bitch had poked a hole in the rubber? Why doesn't he supply his own Shit, rubber? I, Make sure they're up to date. Pull, pull out with a rubber on. Pull out with the rubber on. Be smarter than I, your dick. I'm telling you some good. Oh, I didn't hear what she said. I said, pull out with a condom on. Be smarter than your cock. Huh? Pull out with the condom on. <laughs> what, be smarter than your cock. But how cop. come you don't have any responsibility exactly. for that? Because but listen, let me I say fucking this make the guy pull out with the condom problem. on so he's smarter than his cock. That's but no, why. No, no, no. Why don't you go pull out, motherfucker? Because I fucking don't sleep with people that I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, I will never all, ever how fuck she know someone. When he's gonna come. You don't yeah. know exactly when Yeah, you can feel come. a guy's dick getting really stiff and hard. You feel can definitely know rumbling. when you're about to feel come. Mine rumbling <laughs> this like is why. This is why. This is. Know. This is you this definitely is know another, when you're about to come. Another. Uh, thanks, Greg. Man, thank you, man. I need to move on. Okay, go, 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 go. You contradict yourself. Then you said women want. You you said women don't want a bunch of um dicks. Yes. So how do you explain all these sluts? And, I'm a, and I think it has to do with <laughs> it, it crosses racial because lines. The sluts are searching. They're trying to get back at the show men. Say, oh, is this woman right there said I like a variety. And I, but and, they and, don't. And, but they don't. See, but, yes, they, they don't. Because do, how do you explain all these sluts? No, see, because it, but, see, but, see, but that doesn't mean that she's happy about her. Then See, you're talking, about, you you're talking about conniving. Not, and I feel you. I feel you, Greg. Oh, oh, you're you talking about that, conniving. That they want. Because I'm going to tell you what I think they want. Okay. They want some dumb loser to be there for them, right? Mm -hmm. But they still want to go out there and cheat. They want their cake and eat it, too. No, so that no. Dude just on the phone. He's I don't think so, dude. Yeah. I don't no, think that's not the way it works. About. Huh? No, and that's not the way it works. The way it works is you see those sluts out there. They're fucking a lot of guys, but they're well, what they're really doing is they're looking for that one guy. But, no. it's, but as far as their they game is concerned, huh? they already no, have them. No, they don't. No, no they don't. They yes, look at that. They're looking for a guy whose mind he game can tame them. Because something's going on yeah. with Greg. Because Greg, that you got a girl. That was Patrice's girl, uh, and Patrice. No, nah, not now. So I mean, I'm, let I'm, me I'm ask you a question. Now was you? Now you kind of? Be honest, man. Are you in hate mode with bitches right now? Yeah. See, that's what it is. Yeah. And and it's the fucking show's almost over, nigga. Why did you, you why you call so I've been goddamn late? Like an hour. Oh shit, my phone. <laughs> yeah, <he> <laughs> and I, this is my first time calling a radio show, but I I, I stood. I was, 
I just like I'm sitting here watching TV. I so I got to do this. But it was you know so what, compelling. Were, yeah, you 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 got some. See, you, this is what you need to do. Oh, this is what I'm saying. We need to get this shit a weekly thing. Yeah, right? and these are because, the kind of callers we need. Somebody because with this motherfucker is on hate bitches mode. No, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm a, I'm a good dude. For no, I'm not, a good dude. You that's you don't don't have to explain. Look, what I'm saying. Greg, you don't have to explain to me huh? like you would explain to society. I feel you. Cause I'm a hate bitches guy too, no, I don't but hate, I love I don't them. Hate them. You, you I hate, hate them the in a good way. Like yeah, exactly. So you and hate then them. Got it all mixed up. Just say, just say with us right now, man. Right, I'm just you. You right now, you're confused. You're upset. Some chick that married you, you thought the the you took a big jump to get married, and yep. you thought that that shit was supposed to be in some some sanctimonious, harmonious thing of ask any bitch why they get married. Not the one uh, would ever say. To, 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 in the eyes of God, yeah. that that bonds us. No, it's and security. They, they, Greg, they it's, up, they, my they girl just wants a will. Uh, Greg, I just, I just signed my papers, my divorce. I just signed my divorce, divorce papers. And what I learned is you got to stay on your game. Whether you, there's never a time you, you got to. Yeah. You're done. Congratulations. Done. You're divorced. Done. But you got you got to stay on your game. I didn't just know that. because you're married, just because it's you got years in with her, you still got to be on your game. In fact, you got to be more on your game. I feel lonely because now. of the fact <laughs> <laughs> I have to get rid of my big <laughs> shit. I have to sign no papers. <laughs> Greg, man, you got to keep up with this show and call back, dude, because we got to right. we're gonna move, man. Thank you, man. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go here, forty nine. Rob, I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead, man. You on? Oh no, nothing, man. Hey, hey, what's up? Um, I just wanted to say, hey man, you're you're a genius, a genius. <laughs> tell, tell Pam that my my microphone is the only thing that's working. My earphones are doing it too is. well. Of tell, course it is. Tell tell Pam that. Tell Pam. Of, she of she course she knows I am. She knows Pam's I am. Pam's mic don't fucking work because she don't want it to fucking work. Mm, fucking fucking selective. Patrice yeah. is a genius. Thank you, Rob. Genius. And you know what? I'm going to tell you what, I don't know, because I don't listen to every second of ONA, but I'm going to tell you what, you are a genius because, point blank, you said Anthony needs to go out with Jill Nicolini. And that motherfucker now is on Jill Nicolini. Yes. You know what? Jeez. Did anybody give me credit for that fucking no. shit? No, but to I To stop am. chasing. I am. Thank you, sir. You know who took because the credit he for that? keeps fucking... But my, my, uh, my girl told me Mankind or some shit. Yeah, McFoley. I fucking yes. told him, stop fucking around with these fucking losers. Yes. That these pal talk girls mm. and get yourself right. a cold blooded bitch like right. Jill Lonely Nicolini and niggas don't give me no credit. I'm just big mouth fucking Patrice. No, who fucking nah, he gave you no, props. No. He gave big you big Patrice props. Is a Did he? Yeah, Anthony. Genius. Anthony Did gave he really? you. He gave you. Okay, big let me take it back. Props. Anthony, you listening? He probably ain't. He's somewhere with Jill Nicolini, nigga. <laughs> no, that nigga, that nigga's fucking off shooting guns, man. Oh man. All right, thanks for calling, man. Did that? He gave me credit yeah, for that. Yeah, he, right, he got from Nicolini, up. but he just said that he he gave you props about what you say and how you say it and how it seems like it shouldn't work, but it does work. And he, he does. That's all he I'm did. saying, man. He absolutely. That's did. all I'm saying. Actually, man. Opie, Opie, believe it or not, Opie says that all the time. He says that all the time. Anthony was taking a little while to yeah. to 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 to. to, to to I'm just saying, that, Pam, Opie says, I'm here to help. Opie, Opie has said it a couple of <laughs> you times. You got a that, different approach to help. That that you you you, you want to fight it at first, but then you think about it and it makes because sense. Because Anthony, real quick, that motherfucker is he he's a goddamn. He looks at himself sometimes like he is still the, the air conditioning repair, condition repair guy, mm. and he lets air conditioning repair branded. bitches get into his life. Two minutes. He gets Dini's Joe Nicolini's, and that's good that he's doing it. Well, see, now he's upgrading, and he won't be able to go back. It's good. Hey, hey, Brendan, I'm sorry I didn't fucking... Hey, we got one minute. Damn. Hey, uh, sorry, dude. Brendan, sorry. Listen, um, anybody got plugs? Yeah. I quick, so. do it quick. I got quick. A, a movie coming up in, in July. The movie's dropping. Uh, What's it called, nigga? Fight, fighting with uh, Terrence That's Howard. That's Dante, Reggie Nero, who got a movie out. When and, is it coming uh, out? Uh, J late July. Late July. Look out for Dante in the and, movie, um, Drew. Um, I got a pimp hat and I hunt wolves. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. Cracked out superheroes. You got Lactate Girl over here, a.k.a. Pamela Page. Lactate Saturate Go to crackedoutsuperheroes.com to see this delicious little twat. I, I take that back. <laughs> it's okay. It's delicious. <laughs> She's a fucking sexy motherfucker, too, by the way. It's Thank you, Pam. Thank, Thank you for joining us. Um, anything lovely? 
You can check out some of my work at JacquelineBullier.com. Oh, my God. How do they spell that fucking bougie last name? (laughs) Quickly. It's B-E-A-U-L-I-E-U. Or YouTube, The Masters of Disguise, Strike Again. Oh, Anything we can see your titties on? Anything? <laughs> Maybe Almost even like a sexy nipple. Like a, some Check type out the messes of the Smoky style. nipple thing. How about you, sir? <laughs> yeah, uh, Gurian News Network. Uh, you can check out jeffreygurian.com, J E F F R E Y G U R I A N, or gurianewsnetwork.com. 20, 20 seconds left. Check it out, so, crazy and, uh, news. I'll be in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the, uh, the improv out there in, on uh, next week. Next uh, weekend, then I'll be in uh, fucking D.C. the weekend after that on the 30th. And Danny will be, uh, you know what Danny will fucking be. And uh, thank you for joining us. And if you want to hear more of the Black Phillips show, call in.